Hello and welcome to the Shattersong LARP Diaries, the podcast where we uh, we complain about PD Woo! not putting out the... Shut up, Sol. We complain about <laughs> PD not putting out the Winds of Fortune complain quick about enough, Sol. but yet we're still six months behind on our episode release schedule. So take that what as you mean? will. We've hit everyone. We're not. We are not. Because this is the E1 episode that will be being released five weeks we, after e1 yeah yeah so since not... we actually recorded this before e1 this is all predictions <laughs> yeah yeah this is just psychic moments yeah some wild stuff about you know, the grendel might invade or the thule it was kind of a 50 50 so we'll go with what we uh we tossed a coin we, we did toss a coin yeah. yeah so anyway my name is chris we'll do the actual cool. intro no this is the intro song it's on it's live and it's <laughs> happening and it's staying in and it's not no i know but me, I, and it's in now actually you, technically you it might so as well be live Keep going. Well, I was trying to, Sol. And I said, my name is Chris. And as usual, I am joined by my... Uh, oh, what was the word? Not virtuous. Erst it was um, wild. First while co-hosts, Erst Matty and Sol. Completely. Matty and Sol, say hello. There's no... I can't think of a good enough... No, because you've, 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 you've messed up the setup. But I'll say hello anyway. Yeah, yeah. Cool. Hello, It Sol. should be say hello, Matty and Sol. And then we go... Hello, Matty, Matty and Sol. Oh, all right. So like my name is Chris. Welcome to the Chats on Art Diaries. I'm joined by my friend Sol. Say hello, Sol. Hello, Sol. Now everything's right in the world. You yeah. know, now I'm we can go. Now we can go. No, no. And I'm also joined by Matty. Say hello, Matty. Hello, Matty. Fantastic. Right. <laughs> now that was like eating a bowl oh, of so broken happy. glass. Let's talk about E1. Empire. Like eating a bowl of broken glass. No, it wasn't that bad. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I mean, ooh, yeah, we'll we'll see. We've got some really interesting things to cover today. Uh, we actually have the point of view of not three characters, but five. So we'll see how those go. And I've also got some tidbits about a player event I went to as well that I might chuck in here because I feel like it. And we're you're gonna... going to. I'm going to. <laughs> What, look, if we try and do a whole episode well, about no, it, I'm, it, I know we're recording take... this in advance, but I'm not going to the player event, so I'm putting it in the past in the past tense because we're doing this for the future. But yeah, Guys, thanks, this Sol. is why time travel is too confusing. Mm. Too many tenses. Mm. Okay, lots of tense should, should... as well. So <laughs> now we're off track, and I'm angry. Let's start off with E1 for, uh, Thursday. Actually, <laughs> fuck it, why not? Um, oh my god, what happened Thursday? What did happen oh my god, Thursday? guess what guys? I've got the biggest Thursday. tent in Black Scar. That's right. We yes, moved yes, I see. Tent. We have oh. uh I now have a very it's not it's not a very big it's tent. Swanky. It's a it's a five meter tent plus yeah. porch. And the plus porch is doing a lot of heavy lifting there. And but it's, it's not, not so much the plus porch as the like the A frame at the opening makes it feel so much taller than anyone else's tents. Yeah, you've is it's like yours, a palace. Is it an actual five meter of a single pole in the middle? But because it feels like you've also yep. got an extra cube inside, really keeping the um, giving it a bit more it's space. To do, it's it's because the front door is like a it's, it's a flat front door to fit the porch on, so you don't have that mm. A frame. You just have two poles and. Um, I... I'm not. I'm not the tallest of people, so uh, I don't even hit my head on it. We just leave it open inside. It's beautiful, loads of space, and um, I'm sure, because obviously we're recording this in the past, that I will have bought some more things in between, um, including. How sure are you? What uh, things it, do you think you're the looking IKEA for? order arrived today. <laughs> in the future. Um, okay. <laughs> okay. When? It's when, scheduled when to arrive soon. <laughs> Yeah, uh, and yeah, it's it's going to be uh, even even more delightful than it already was. With I mean, I, I've heard we... tell that it might even have. Can I can I say it because I yeah? Or do you want to say it? What you've what? got in your tent? Well, I was just going to go down. Get, it's, got, it's got what it, soul well, will got... I think soul will get? You've got your two beds already, and there's only mm -hmm. two of us in there. You've mm -hmm. got a lovely set of storage that also. Acts as like little Just leather, storage. leather, leather benches that you can sit on. Beautiful. Got storage. a couple of tables in there. Got like a table set up for the kitchen area. Got like a place to store weapons. Got a clothes rail. To put the all my armor rail. and stuff on. This is the thing. Like, what a genius idea. I mean, I know you have. It feels like you have more space than anyone else, but 
you don't. I mean, there so are only two of us in a five meters tent. It's quite. It's true. It's, you you have a a five meter. I've heard rumors that you might get a clothing rail. No, we've got yeah. one. That's already in there. That That's was, in that the was... IKEA order. It's yeah. in the car. <laughs> well, no, it's not <laughs> in the that. IKEA order because the IKEA order is happening after the event, but before the event. We have already set it up oh, in our garden. Thank you. And oh, we had them. Okay. Yeah. Yesterday, when you so, set it up uh, yesterday, right? On top also, of everything. Duvets. Duvets, yeah. yeah. Uh, I mean, I, I, I stuck to my four season because I'm, I'm lovely and warm, but duvets are yeah. a great shout. Um, yep, we've got a coming. I arrived in an IKEA order about a month in the future this morning. Um, a whole patio dining set. <laughs> a whole patio dining set. <laughs> For two. For two. But it's still a patio You're dining have to, set. to like sell tickets to come and like eat in the the grand tent. Well, I, you know. You could offer hospitality we could. perhaps to we could. people who visit the camp. Look, and I also do it, it's realistically it's only it's only this extravagant because there are only two of us in there. Um, we could definitely fit more of Black Scar in there yeah, if look, we needed. I looked at how much space you had, and then I had to walk across camp to go <laughs> into, into the five meter that I was sharing with three rather adult male-sized individuals <laughs> and all of their stuff. And uh, you know what? It was cozy. Mm. It was very smelly. Which you needed for the right weather. Here. It stank. It was so bad. <laughs> it's never been that bad before. I think it was tricks. I was going <laughs> to say tricks is the difference this time. So are we tricks? Is tricks is the difference here. Normally, it doesn't smell that bad. But yes, yeah, it was pretty. Uh, it's it's only going to improve. There's going to be lanterns. It's uh, oh, yeah. We'll yeah. have to see see what it's like um, at, at the the event after the event or E two. E two. E two. We have yeah. to see what it's like then. It would have improved. But yeah. Um. Not that that was necessarily all Thursday. Thursday was just lovely to see everyone. Mm. It was again. a particularly good one, actually. As usual. Getting on site was nice and easy. Um, it was quite a cold event in general. Um, we'll mm. talk about the, the Sunday, well, Saturday night slash Sunday weather once we get there. But um, it was chilly and cosy, but it wasn't too bad, you know? It wasn't too bad initially. Mm. Yeah, I good actually patience. was there pretty on time as well, which was quite nice. I, mean, yeah, I think we, we, we all did pretty well for turning up. Stuff. Yeah, we had our lovely yeah. breakfast in our secret location as well. We also yeah, managed to fit it. fit everyone in. Like uh, Andy did. Corwin got the tent in. And... Yeah, it has yeah. to be said. Kudos to, I, I assume Kit was involved, but presumably other people as well. Um, they cleared a lot of the front section that's normally could just brambles for us, mm. which for which meant that we could actually fit essentially three extra tents. Really, because yeah, we went up that as well. Yeah, they were they were like four meter and five meter even, and we went up in almost onto the road and up that little back pathway, which was really good. It was it was a little bit like uh, tent Jenga for a bit, but or, or tent 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 tent. There were a couple of moments it. where I thought it was going to be a bit dicey. We'd have to say no, and then it just worked. So hopefully, we have exactly the same situation next time. Mm. I mean, it will work. It will. It will. It's gonna get really confused. Confidence of knowing the future. But, it will. But yes, we're gonna, um, we're gonna just cause, like laugh as our future selves now I'm talking about <laughs> this in the past. You, you say that, that. Like, it's the plan for Bastion, but um, that is true. That's another podcast. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's a different episode. Yeah, I'm jealous about that. Lovely breakfast, um, on the Friday morning, as usual. Big breakfast, big organized breakfast. Um, I know. I did the organizing. You did. Very good job of it. And then we sort of get into the pre lap bit of putting some kit on. Mm -hmm. Tiki turned up in good time. Did some Black Scar training as per usual. Yep. Always needed. I, um, did we kind no, of I skip you it didn't. at E4? You, you brought it out, but I wasn't going to mention it, Matty. Um, you know. Well, look, it, it's kind of hard to, 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 to join the like training sessions as an archer i think i was also you've got doing. hands yeah as a as, a, as another archer <laughs> got i might say not too. all archers please <laughs> the uh Hashtag not all archers. Yeah. yeah but you don't you you sometimes use other weapons with black scar it 
Must it doesn't hurt to know what we're doing. It's true. I was I was watching what you were doing. I always listen to the calls. Hmm. Uh, but it's always, always good. To, always good to warm up. I think we needed it. Screaming uh, through the middle of uh, Navarre as they're setting up is what nearly thirty, thirty-five Hel thorns. Helldiver saluting every car that goes past. Yeah. Um, yep. Different salute each summit. We're rocking that. Yeah, it was fun. <laughs> We also yeah. had a new joiner as well. We had we had quite a few new joiners, didn't we? Had a couple, yeah. yeah. I'm I'm trying to recall what who is turning up at E1. Yeah, um, so I've we heard had people friends friends brought along. That was fun. <laughs> we had spiders. Know, I think, dad. As usual, we always have a couple just kind of step in. Spiders dad. Spiders yeah. dad. Yeah. So the the reason this Apparently is special. Apparently, he loved it. He's coming back. Yeah. Well, that's what we hope he'll say. Yeah. That's it. <laughs> um, <laughs> I've, yeah. I've heard he's already signed up. He hasn't. He hasn't even been to E1 yet, and he's signing up. Really. He's already bought a year's worth of tickets. He's just he's committed. Uh, but for those of you who don't know, Spider is someone in our group. Really cool guy. I met um, online years and years ago. One of those you know Discord friends you get and ends up being an IRL friend. Kind of like LARP, I guess. But um, anyway, uh, he his dad would usually drive him to events. And his dad thought, well, you know, heck, I'll uh, give it a shot, see what it's like. And uh, he adored. Oh fuck it, I'm done with this. I'm done with this bit now. He adored it. He absolutely <laughs> adored the event. Um, I believe. Yeah, he had a great he's time. Sixty-six, and the reason I mention the age is because he absolutely could keep up with Steve. And yes, Steve, I am calling you out on this. Um, <laughs> Steve, he was a very young, fit, handsome man. Um, I'm sure many people would agree. Um, Spider's dad managed to keep up and fight probably harder in a lot of cases as well. So really hardcore and honestly really impressive to see. And especially now that he, uh, I know I was about to go for the, the Spider's dad meme, but we're going to, we'll leave that. We'll leave that aside. <laughs> I was wondering <laughs> yeah. when that would come yeah, up. So, it yeah, happened. So, yeah, it was about to. That's, it was about ignore to. It. Offline ignore it. That's an yeah. offline meme. So it kind of hit pretty quick into time in. Dressed up, yeah. first time of the first time of the year, properly. I'd obviously well, done everyone some. Everyone had to get armoured up pretty fast. There was no stand. Why was that? Well, there, there was, but well, because we will have. I can't. Yeah, the bit stopped. Stop the bit. Stop the bit. It stopped. It's done. Okay, it's dead. <laughs> um, because of the skirmishes, soul God, don't you remember? Well, I do, and I was just setting it up for the for, for the nice transition. But, um, sure. Call me out. That's fine. It wasn't very, wasn't very virtuous. I just you there, lived so. to ruin the joke. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And what so was that skirmish that's again? So <laughs> because I can't remember. Oh, what a shame! Guess we'll never know. <laughs> Forlorn. It was. <laughs> God, this is a train wreck. This is why we need to keep it more regular, right? Oh, God. There were two skirmishes within the first hour of time in. And this presented a unique problem because, as per PD's rules, don't role play online. It meant that we had to organise two whole skirmishes within minutes of time in. Uh, one at six thirty, which was a joint effort between Dawn and Navarre, uh, led by the Knight Protector of Spring, I believe, or the Knight of the Greenwood, one of those. And the seven o'clock one was Navarre only, and that was. Um, I think both of them were against Valorn, weren't they? It was Valorn and Valorn. Valorn and Valorn, yeah. Um, did anyone go on the 6.30? Yeah. I don't think we did, did we? I think you, Matty, no, and I, we tried we to get tried. some archers. Yeah, we were at the back. So actually, just before that, there was the whole our halogen thing. Yeah, in the queue. Forgot about that. Yeah, forgot about that. Yeah, because basically we found out that our halogen wanted to talk to. Was it Vates? I think it was Vates specifically. It was or... about a challenge for the thorns. About a challenge for the thorns. Yeah, the but it was going to happen at six thirty at, and we didn't know when it was going to happen. The Vates said, "Are we going to try and maybe bring, bring the Herald down to, the the gate wherever where all of them are would be." Um, and they did. I didn't. I was so keen to do this. I've never had anything to do with Eternals before, and I really—it's an area of the game I'm so interested to like 
see what happens. I think I've just, it just sounds fun. It's like a side of the magic system that I really like. Mm. And yeah, I was so keen. And then it just seemed like the timing wasn't going to work. And then just we were waiting at the gate and suddenly this individual with a lot of eyes showed up. Are you can't all these away with And it was joy. really cool. You were. Your eyes just I, lit I up. really, I was just like, I'm going over there. <laughs> I'm on my way. Just charged over. It was amazing. It was just so cool. It's just a person in a costume, you know, but you're in the moment and it's like shiny thing. Very, very mm. cool. Anyway, I got a chance to briefly chat to them and say, oh yeah, I'm super interested. And as it happens, I'm quite good friends with the um, Archmage, Archmage of Spring, Ibis who was obviously involved because our halogen is the spring eternal and all of that jazz. Um, and he came straight over to me, which was really nice. Cause like we've had more friendship as in my past life, perhaps, but uh, I've managed to have a good friend, decent friendship with him as well now as Isa. Um, but it was super, super chill. He like came over and was like, Oh, I, you, you need to go on this thing. Here's the token that you need. I was like, yeah, great. Oh Thanks my god. For the skirmish. You, yeah. <laughs> thank you. Yeah. I mean, well, it's just cool when someone comes over and it's like, I pick you for this. And you're like, whoa. Oh my god. Okay. Maybe I have been, you know, playing the game long enough to actually have some important friends who will let me do cool stuff. So that was a really dope moment. And uh, yeah. A, then just... we tried to just run into the 6.30 skirmish at the back. The whole of the... We, we queued. We queued. Um, we weren't running, but it was a queue. We did. Yeah, yeah. We did. It was orderly. We were at the back. Uh, we did not get in. It was fine. Yeah. It was we fine. We did not. But that was fine because we still knew that we had the other one. Yeah. And it was, con and, it was uh, yeah. pretty concerning it was because um, they the 6.30 group were going to rescue a bunch of knights who'd been fucked up, basically. And... Uh, we, we forgot that, of course, immediately. So when some knights came clattering back through the gate about five minutes later, going, they're all dead, they're all dead, we forgot that they were the NPCs. So we just thought this entire skirmish oh had just been God. crumped in five minutes. Did you? Yeah. I completely missed that. Completely. Yeah, we were all like real that concerned for a bit until the rest of the actual oh heroes came back through. But uh, yeah, that was... Uh, yeah. No, I was... Moment. um. Sparkles did an incredible job. Shout out to Corwin again, because he did just an amazing job organising the skirmishes. So it's clearly something he absolutely loves doing. Spirit of the Seven. Um, yeah, I think at some point he'd be an absolute shoe in for Strategos. Like, it just makes sense. It's clearly what he loves doing. He likes organising skirmishes. Mm. He also likes leading them, though. But he hasn't really, he hasn't, like, done the sort of the admin process before going through the gate before. As far as I'm aware, and he, he he didn't he wasn't comfortable with it. He didn't know it like confidently. So I was helping a bit with like, okay, you need to get these people lined up, count these things, you need to talk to that. This is the war scout. You talk to the war scout, find out where you're going. You need someone mm. to open the gate, go and do that. Do the ritual name. So I think I was going. just a bit yeah. stuck in yeah, stuck in that before <laughs> so I completely missed that everyone thought everyone was dead, but you know, they weren't, so it was fine. Yeah. It worked out. And then um... I rocked up, rocked up late from standing, but uh, it was fun. John the Black Squad. Early standing. I actually, Lock. I really liked the idea of early standing. I think I've probably said this before, but even just shifting it to like six fifteen makes so much more wiggle room for things like the councils that are afterwards. True, true. It does like who? I don't know why we wait. Ever like so many of the other ones do it straight away at six o'clock. It's your time in thing. Have a big meeting. I know Navarre's huge, so that doesn't help. But even bigger the difference now. between having it at six and six thirty. Yeah, God, biggest nation on the field, weren't we? Six hundred and sixty-six yeah. players. Yikes! Yep, that's the oh, number nice. of the beast. There's a big amount. No wonder. <laughs> I don't know. No wonder it's a rabble, I guess. <laughs> Hard to organise <laughs> when it gets that large. You heard, you heard it here That's first, Navarre's a rabble. <laughs> I think Navarre would agree that it's a rabble. Yeah, it um, yeah. Not yeah. Oh when fighting for Lord, though. No, not right. at 7 o'clock. The... No. Yeah, that was really good. Yeah. When did the... Um... Wait, was the one to Leatham and before or after? Uh, that was on the Saturday. Saturday. No, it was definitely Friday still. It must have been later on on the Friday then. It wasn't, but that's fine. Anyway. 
Anyway, anyway. Okay. Sol, take us into the seven blocks, please. Um, so, there's a couple of things. First of all, we go in, we clear the site, distract the husks. And then five minutes later, the um, ritualists are going to go in and cast Dance of Navarre and Thorn in Thurunin. Mm. That was that was the right one, right? God, correct. That was all. I, I've surprised correct. myself. Look at yeah. you um, go. Um, it was right. just waves and waves of husks. Uh, but it was really cool because there's so many people who went on that skirmish that have never seen a Valorn as their player before. I'm sure mm. them as characters have, but them oh, as their player yeah. have never seen a Valorn or a Valorn husk or anything. So, yeah. uh. Honestly, I think I just had a great time seeing everyone else have a great time. <laughs> mm. It was, it was, yeah, it was pretty cool. It was um, also nice to have it right at the beginning. It was a bit of a Black Skull yeah, workout, really. It was. Black Skull would, would churn in through husks. Uh, so, um, as you will have heard in our E4 episode, um, we, Black Skull have had a little bit of a change of leadership recently. Um, so, we needed someone else to lead the front lines. Um, mm. and uh, Keelan Jockel actually did step up as his sort of um, in-line command and uh, did, did very well um, I think as far as I heard from people in it as all the eyewitness was cool uh, he did a really good job looking forward to him really taking that role and running with it quite literally um, mm. doing good did uh, we have the banner? we did have the banner we the banner was the brought banner. to that one yeah who who was I'll... carrying it this time? I can't remember. Some scrub. It was not me. Some scrub. Yeah. We were um... Matty and I were enjoying the inaugural battle of the Scarchers or the Black Scarchers, named to be determined. Yeah, you were just well, it wasn't it wasn't the inaugural, it was just the largest. There were six of us, right? Five, I think. You me, Trix. Four. Five. Four. The Black Leaf and the Percy. new guy. I thought there was a the Cambion. I thought there was a sixth one. Yeah, it was a lot. Yeah, you it was you a lot sounded like you're having a great time. Oh, yeah, so on my fun. notes, I've got well, eighty Chris plus was. kills I just from the ran. unit in that in that fight. Yeah, um, which is yeah. Monstrous. I'm not gonna lie, we were dropping them a lot because there was so it was the perfect archer battle for yep. me because one, there were no hard lines, so you didn't have to worry about arrows going in because you just run and get an arrow. Two, they kept respawning, so that mm. was nice. Lots of things. They dropped quite easily uh, because Valorn, which was satisfying and nice, and they didn't move that fast either, so they were quite easy to aim at. Mm. And oh, they were coming at all angles. I think they moved faster than most husks I've seen. Oh, <laughs> yeah, so there, there I actually that. have an answer to that exact, not criticism, but comment there, dear soul. Um, from an event that I may or may mm. not attend in the future yes, called nice. Burden of Hope, uh, I got to see some of the, the Valorn actual brief guards like we have for our Grendel, Emu, right? There are different types of husks. Some can move quicker, some can move slowly, some move slow vein quick. There are different varieties. Mm. I, so it hey, does I've actually match heard, it. and this is this is possibly a, a thing for the field, but very much a rumour on the field that it's to do with also how awake the Valorn itself is. That was a rumour I heard. That would make um, sense. Comment. They were definitely healing themselves. Using and the, the more, the more intense, magic. again, everybody, uh, just for you know, actual clarification, this is just rumor mill. These are no, no icy opinions here. <laughs> but my God, they were some fun, fun things I've overheard. Mm. Um, oh yeah, take it all with a grain of salt. By the I, way, I want to also. Can I shout out one particular husk? <laughs> Is it, the one that combat it was. is it the one yeah. that combat rolled? Is it the one that combat There were actually more than one that combat rolled, it has <laughs> yep. to be said. I gotta say, the combat rolls were, were on point. It was <laughs> it was everyone's favorite dual flail wielding husk that I first saw as he <laughs> literally like forward roll tumbled through the bracken towards mm. us. Making a massive crunching noise that everyone thought was an OC issue briefly. Like, you can't deny it. And he just got up and started flinging the flails around. Yeah. It was great. It was like it swimming was, through land. It was land. so fun. Yeah, it was... He, he um, just cause... would kind of like start shambling towards you and then lift the flails up and start slowly turning faster and faster like he was a freaking rotating fan or something. It was amazing. Yeah. <laughs> it was so good. And he dropped the same way. He just span and fell rolling around. Mm. Oh. 
Yeah. That's someone having a good time. Top quality for Lawn. Monstering right there. So much fun. It was pretty successful, uh, to say the least. Um, probably could do with some work on the good old retreat. As per usual. As it was per usual. Very slow and yeah, people weren't getting out of the way, so there's a lot of black scar getting. Yeah. You guys went further away from us, I think, because I stayed pretty much by the ritual team the whole time. Hmm. No, we were quite, we were like the, the furthest like, out. Yeah, furthest out. Well, yeah. I say we, I was, I was barely fighting with Black Scar, to be fair. I ended up filling in, joining other lines, keeping them strong. It was good. Mm. There's one um, great picture yeah, of you just... in a 6v1, isn't there? So. Well, yeah, that's, that's, that's mainly because there were six husks there and no one was filling the gap. So I filled the gap, me and my two swords. <laughs> um, there, there are no bets for, uh, uh, there are no winnings for betting who won on that fight. Yeah, and this is where we have to unfortunately announce the um, death of uh, Farron <laughs> Chatterton. <laughs> yeah, that will will happen. That, that will happen will, as we predicted it. Probably will. Happen. We predict he will die. <laughs> the think tank has given it a sixty nine percent. Honestly, we need to. Yeah, we need to do a. Death All I'm war. saying is, if I last, oh, black scar. if if I lasted through um, E1, I, I lived longer than Isa is general. So, so get ready. Isa, <laughs> she's not Isa. She's Larkin, so God, soon. It's fine. So soon. They are different. Mm. You, you have to, you know, look. They are mm. different. Look carefully. They are different. pretty closely. <laughs> they're not. They're not that difficult. Isa, uh, Isa is red, and Larkin was green. It's, <laughs> it's quite simple. <laughs> I made it easy for people, okay? <laughs> <laughs> made it easy for me. But yeah, good. Yeah, it was awesome. Good start I, to I mean, Friday. I think I've written down... Oh. I've written write. down Chainmail Owie. Oh, no, that's later. That's the Never hunt. Mind. Yeah, yeah, that's something else. The back shot, which Sol was giggling about earlier. <laughs> no, I wasn't. Well, I don't know why one. I'd laugh at that. You would never, ever do something childish like no, that. doesn't sound like The me. first thing I want to say is I can't see very well, right? I haven't got great eyes. I am currently wearing my glasses. Even then, I have bad eyes. I actually have to, like, probably get eye surgery. It's terrible. Eyes are more like eyes. Eyes. Get out, so Get out. No, <laughs> that was this. amazing. <laughs> That, that's so good. I loved it. Um, but yeah, and yet I choose to be an archer um, because you don't have to have a license to archery. No one's testing my eyesight before I do it. And yet I got on the field and did that Valorn skirmish and I felt so good about myself because I was pulling off shots that I, I, I think most of them were lucky, but there were kind of too many of them. So then I was like, maybe I am okay at this. And then I felt heartbroken that no one was there to see it because Chris was running off trying to, you know, with be cool the unit. here with his bow friends. Yeah. Doing his whatever he do does. Black Scar weren't there. And I was like, no one is watching me do these cool things. Except that there were these two Navari who every time I did a cool shot, I would turn around and they'd go, nice. <laughs> and I was like, yeah, someone saw it. The best one was you... And some of the other Scarches ran off away from the ritual team. Yeah, we were trying we, to follow something. We were getting and in circles. Two husks we... turned and followed you. Mm -hmm. And I managed to pull a shot and it went whew, perfectly. I mean, you know what it feels like. You just watch it and it just goes oh, right where it's supposed to. Thunked the guy right at the top of the spine at the back. Mm. And he just went whew, onto the ground. And I was like, oh, paralyzed. Wow. I think I'm a god. I think I'm a god. <laughs> this is amazing. And that, yeah, they were there and they went, nice shot, Archer. And I was like, thank you. Thank you. Thank you for witnessing. Validation. Thank god, you saw that. Because as, as soon as I let go of the arrow and watched it go, my first thought was, they're not going to turn around and see this cool shot. <laughs> You're never going to know. <laughs> we <I> didn't. Did. <laughs> no <laughs> we one did is going to know. You had no idea. So I was thankful for those two Navari who were watching me do cool stuff. Because I felt very cool. Congrats. It was a nice start. That's the, that's the nice main thing, right? Boost. That's what you want. Yeah. You know, feel cool. Mm. Yeah. Stay alive. Um, yeah. 
now because we're doing this before i think uh working up timings on, on when actually everything happened is, is just as difficult so <laughs> um yeah i can't really remember much of what what exactly happened other than friday night for me is heading over to mc after that mm-hmm. pretty much yeah that would make sense for you yeah yeah and then that's 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 me for most of the evening so I'm sure you you lot got up to something while I was having fun in MC. And I was having fun in MC. MC is always fun. Oh, well, Chris, I distinctly remember coming back, getting out of armor, and then being told, they're electing Isella's dance! As someone ran towards camp, yeah. and the two of us looked at each other and legged it. Yep. That was exciting. Yeah. I'm, I'm, they were I'm not glad. electing Isella's dance. I'm, I'm glad I heard about that. Did you? <laughs> But they weren't. That's someone they, just got the wrong end of the stick. Yeah. And passed on the wrong message, it, and I unnecessarily sprinted across camp. So the the, the TLDR of what I understand that evening's clusterfuck to be is that there was some um, icy political backlash against, to say, this dance, and their current general had said, "Well, I'm willing to step down if people are that think that strongly about it." That, that's the vibe I got. And then the Thorns Council was like, yeah, let's go for it. Then it didn't happen. The end. I don't know if it was even yeah. that. Like, like, I, don't, I don't think he said that. anything like that. I'm pretty sure they just wanted to like interrogate him about it. And someone had gone, ooh, what if they revoke him? Oh, yeah, well, the... then they'll have to re-elect it. It's that kind of... It was the rumour mill again. Yeah, it's just, rumour already kicked off. It just off. kind of got out of hand. And it Saturday didn't help. was a bit more like declare your candidacy kind of stuff but the friday one was just someone got the wrong stick but we did get to have a nice um sass off with with Justin. the ember cast now for those the of you who ember don't know class. there are two mighty um ember casters are striding black scars are drawn <laughs> on <laughs> ember klutzes but um i think they're steading aren't they oh i, I don't think yeah, no two feet, no. two feet are steading i get them confused it's easy, they it's because people don't care about Embercast, obviously. But for you, dear listeners, yeah. the, the important context here is that we're not cyber bullies. Uh, we're actually IC <laughs> and full bullies because, um, yeah. to, for reasons I won't go into, people believe that there was a feud between Embercast and Black Scar. There wasn't. And we hate them. Yeah, <laughs> there, 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 just, there just wasn't. There is now. But no, there is now. And the reason is, <laughs> well, the reason for that is. They came up to us on, th- I think, Thursday evening, wasn't it? And they said, we've heard of this feud. Yeah, yeah. Obviously, OC, we've got no problems with you. O- also, OC, we have no idea where this has come from. Same for us. Yeah. And then we just agreed to, to yeah, start. It was good for them to do that. Yeah, and we, we were like, well, we, did, we didn't know there was a feud either, but should we make one? Yeah. yeah. And they were like, no. Nope. And it kicked off. Yeah. It kicked off really hard. It was <laughs> so much fun. It was actually it was so, the, the funniest part of it was, though, that none of us could keep a straight face. <laughs> at all oh. ever you it were pulling me away at one point <laughs> oh there was that there was that that was but that was just again it was just fun <laughs> it was throughout we the entire weekend fun. though it was just yeah. walking down the road bump into an ember cast and then like <laughs> on a skirmish someone's getting healed oh looks like you're uh you're, you're, you're doing clutch. a bit bad there uh <laughs> ember clutch. Yep. Black was it were they calling us the black scab? Black I can't scabs. remember. Yeah. Yeah. Black yeah. scabs. It was, oh, one, of, one of them shoulder checked me. I was walking through Navarre and I, I know exactly <laughs> who it was, and I won't name you, Sunshine, but you know who you are. And just <laughs> funk me of the shoulder. And I was like, oh. and then I just turned around. Well it can't it's... have been Justin because otherwise he'd have been on the floor. <laughs> it wasn't Justin, but who did it knows who it was. And there's just this <laughs> wicked evil smile. <laughs> it was fantastic. <laughs> like... <laughs> yeah it, that is it is joyous it's nice because they're also they're, they're a group with a lot of like long-term long-time players mm. and they have probably a similar level of fun i think with things yeah. that we want to have so it's just nice it's not yeah. in-depth it's not well, crazy there's nothing not... to it there's nothing wrong there's with nothing it it wasn't like it's just so much fun it wasn't like lindy's boss is in Embercast, you know the cardinal of vigilance or anything that won't have any repercussions in any way. That won't will have it? any lingering. No, I don't see anything no, going nothing, on there. No, nothing bad could happen. All right, nothing in the cards on that one. No. Yeah, pretty boring event from the vigilance side of things. But um, oh, yeah, there know. was a feud. Back to uh, Friday night. <laughs> 
Did you do anything vigilancy on Friday night? Oh, um, sorry, that was just the, <laughs> the morale leaving do, my body. <laughs> do, do you even want to encounter it? Shall I talk about the Arhalogen skirmish? Yeah, instead? let's do that. Let's do that. <laughs> let's Fuck do man. that. Let's do that, shall we? So, right hmm. as. Oh my god. Okay, so first of all, I. Um, had another token i was told to find someone else to come along and i turned around to chris and said uh linda i would like you to come please i want to know that i have someone i know coming on this with me because it was a bunch of people that isa doesn't know i know the players i don't know particularly well yeah so it was dark right so that was the first problem we first of all (laughs) kitted up i put my chain mail on how along with having terrible eyes just generally haven't been very well recently. So I, my stamina is for dog shit. It's so bad. I haven't worn the chain mail in a year because Isa hasn't worn chain mail. And also it's been really hot. So I put this on being like, well, at least maybe the extra hits it will give me will mean I don't die in the dark. Great. Wonderful. Because what we were told about this was... I can see Chris's pain. What we were told about this is that it was supposed to be a hunt. That we are hunting something and possibly slash probably the Druge are also hunting. And there was not that much extra detail. That was pretty much all we knew. So it was going to be us and a bunch of Druge in a woods and maybe other things. Unclear. So we went down to the gate um, and it was starting to get darker. And uh, eventually I had the wherewithal to ask the war scout and be like, like, what is the last time you can use archery on a skirmish and they went oh the last one's just gone through so actually you can't do it for this one and it was like ah well that's shit because yeah, all i have on me is my is, bow and yeah, i had exactly. nothing there it's listed as 845 on the website yeah but i think the it skirmish had got finish like... at 84 845 so we could still be fighting at 845 also it, you know it was then. a bit cloudy i think it also made it because of the rain and the clouds coming in, it made it darker earlier. So they called it one before, which is fair enough. Fine. But the panic. Oh, yeah. my God. The panic <laughs> we have no we weapons. Had. I don't even have a knife. Literally. <laughs> we had nothing on us. Turned around to Ibis, who was obviously there to you know arrange everything, and just went, we can't do archery. We can't go on this skirmish. <laughs> We're dead. <laughs> what, what do we do? And Ibis just kind of was like, stay here i'll get you some weapons what can you use i was like anything we can we can both use anything this is fine and he just legged it he just ran off into urizen and i was like i don't know if he's gonna come back in time i don't know what's happening are we going on it still is this gonna work i don't know and i really wanted to do this um it, I, was, um, it was a horrible feeling actually yeah i found that the thorn fang outside um they were all outside balthazar's vineyard doing some kind of i can only assume it was a fight pit I remember walking in going, I just need a weapon, any weapon at all, please. <laughs> just getting ba- stonewalled in a nice way of like, nah, you're not, you know, we can give you a knife. And I'm like, no, I've got one of those. I need like something heavy, something big. And they're like, no, I, that was terrifying. No, you're not, you're not getting that off Oh us. my God. <laughs> we're in the middle of something. And just, yeah, like you said, that I panic of like, we're going in. I mean, I'm in light armor yeah. at that point as well. Yeah. Medium, I was, uh, medium, I was already really breathless from like running around in the chain mail just to get down there. So <laughs> I was just like, <sighs> things are starting to feel real bad. And then they were opening the gate. I remember it was, they were literally, the gate was being opened as Ibis like ran across back up to the thing, handed us a bunch of stuff. I got my hands on a spear. It was feeling very larkin again suddenly, chain mail and spear. Gave you whatever you were using. Sword and shield. And we ran through. Literally. Within, like, it was a handover and we were through. Yep. And I was like, oh, God, that was tight. That could have been really bad. And just bad in the sense of, like, the admin side making things less fun. I don't begrudge them it, but it would have been crap. Yeah. And then things got a lot worse. we got on it. (laughs) They got a lot, (laughs) lot worse. And then we walked into the dark, dark woods. (laughs) (laughs) Full of dark, dark druge with a dark, dark monster. And I don't know. I mean, uh, in in a couple of snapshots, there was a big thing. There were some very sneaky druge. There were a lot of close calls. I was on one hit for most of that. 
it was when you said I can't run anymore between oh yeah there was so breath, yeah I was like, I'd also we stand and die here I was now. so <laughs> restless from I just I think just wasn't I also wasn't well at all at the weekend anyway so I probably shouldn't have been running around in chainmail but he had already saved me so you know worth it and I was just <laughs> so like oh I might actually have to sit down and like call it. And just let myself be dead for fairness sake, because I'm like really OC struggling to breathe. And everyone was like, right, run now. So I would like run, jump and stop and breathe and just be like, Linda, Linda, just like uh, help. And I was just like <gasps> trying to breathe at all. And we legged it, we kept going and I just couldn't. I did have to stop and bless you. Thank you. <laughs> this is why I wanted you along, you see. But Linda for just being like, right, just okay, to we're say. gonna push back. He did. I mean, look, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna withhold the 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 praise where it's due. <laughs> you did an absolutely banging withhold job and nectar. saved my character's life and possibly my actual one. I don't know, but it was brilliant. And you just like did this counter push just enough that I had enough time to breathe and then keep like walking <laughs> towards <laughs> the the um, posts to get out. And uh, yeah, we all got out. It was it was so really fun. really dicey, and uh, Sol mentioned earlier around retreats. It was a retreat that really got us in a bad spot because we go in. Yeah, but it was all, it's it was full of Druze and the Umberhog came out as well. Big Beetle Boy gave me a few smacks That's around so the face, good. but having like a three way so fight, good. really really dynamic yeah. and exciting. It was fifty so of us, less one. We were fighting. Fun. The Hulk and the Druge. The Druge yeah. were fighting the Hulk and us, and the Hulk was just hitting whatever was nearby. <laughs> the Hulk was there to smash. And it was so cool. <laughs> Hulk <laughs> smash. Yeah, it was so cool. That's the first time, because I wasn't really... When we last fought Valorn and stuff, I wasn't really much good at combat. This is all pre-Larkin. I don't think I ever faced Valorn as Larkin. And really, it was only partway through Larkin that I got to grips with feeling confident and good at combat as well so it was actually really nice to fight something <laughs> extraordinary <laughs> and then you know actually do it and not feel like oh my god i need to run away just to save my own skin so yeah. that was that was nice i liked that um the druge was so they were that was real druge yeah sometimes you they get did when you not get big us. battles yeah you're like, ah, this is a this is monsters who are players who are not used to playing druge and they're really a bit more Grendley. But these were Druge. They were sneaky. They were annoying. <laughs> they were rude. <laughs> it was <laughs> amazing. I was like really just like, ah, oh, I just wanted to kill them so much. <laughs> yeah, and the they want they wanted there, us you know? badly. So I think it was at E4, E3 last year, we're playing as Druge and basically the refs stopped us taking like taking the fight to the players on one of the main battles. Because they were getting castled, like safety, fair enough. But this time there was no such um, crutch. We were right yeah. at the top of the forest, you, you know, like mm -hmm. equivalent of Shotgun top gate good, think, kind, yeah. of, kind of area. And we had to retreat I think it's, all the way I think back it's down to bottom gate blade. in one go. I don't, I yeah, don't it, was, it was amazing. I don't know if it we reminded really you at all, because obviously I wasn't there. But was it anything like um, the shit show of a skirmish that was the Black Plateau? <laughs> <laughs> no, the no, I'm sorry, the Black Plateau is still no. There's nothing that will ever come close to that experience. Not it not really in terms of the shit show, but there were there were Druze in every tree. Like, there were, I would say I it was think, worse. Salt. Right now, Genuinely I don't worse. remember a lot of the Black Plateau. The Black Plateau one though, you didn't go as far in, right? Yeah. No. That was only 20, 30 meters in. So when we ran, it was yeah. over in a couple of seconds. Like so when we it say like, you know, also, Matty was It was in the dark. Yeah, Matty was breathless. Like, Matty had just had to do a 100-meter sprint over, not even uneven ground, but just, you, you know, almost dangerous ground in chain. There was a lot of jumping. After a 10 or 15-minute yeah, fight with these crew chasing us, like, I was exhausted. I was I, I was, I was God, fucking Chris, you're making knackered. me feel so much better about no, my level of No, because we were running for our lives. It, you know that feeling of being chased in, like, yeah. a nightmare? It was that. Because mm -hmm. we, we had to... People started to go down because they were catching us. It wasn't let's run for our lives. Yeah. It was run for our lives so the slower one die first, and then yeah, they got well, a couple. It really did feel like just get in front of the next person and then you're yeah. okay. Yeah, and then we had to like um, make yeah. these little sort of like um so little mini last stands of like five people 
bounce yeah reverse yeah. bounce and they were together. they were doing the really clever um they, i mean they were being perfect druge in that they weren't they weren't clumping together at all there was like two of them there one over there another two over there one come around the corner like they were they were everywhere they were really really good i i, I do remember running away i hadn't really clocked actually it was far because we were all the way way past where we were for the fort and stuff yeah it's top gate top and, gate um probably. Yeah, and he, there was all those bits where it kind of sloped down and then went up again. And we'd started by crouch walking into the engagement. So we were already pretty, like, I mean, my legs were knackered, really. As that probably explains a lot about why my back was so bad for the rest <laughs> of the weekend. But yeah, it was it was really, really intense. They were everywhere. There wasn't much chance at stealth at the beginning because you know that they knew we were there and they'd intended for us to be there they I, I think my my understanding is that our halogen had possibly also challenged them to this that was why yeah, they were there correct. so they were yeah. expecting us for that reason it's a competition um and i think what i heard was that it was supposed to be evenly matched so it was supposed to be 15 on 15 yeah it was 15 on 15 i don't know if there the were but obviously yeah, we only had yeah, fourteen exactly. of us. So we had to fight the Hulk. They were happy to let us kill the Hulk until then. They wanted to kill the Hulk. Um, they wanted them. us to wear it down and then get the end. We yeah. killed them. The thing that was good is obviously they didn't respawn. Yeah, because it was just a direct hunt. Um, we didn't and get many kills. Help. We only killed but about three or four so, tops. Yeah, it really wasn't many, and they taunted us as we finally got to the gate. Yeah, <laughs> they were just there, like, "Can you give us your little thingies?" Yeah. Give us your tokens. Give us your little tokens. That, give us so your the, tokens. The fucking like, worst really part of this. I really to kill you, but I'm not stupid enough to do that. It, the worst part of it was Embercast. So um, I believe Erwin, Embercast, one of their members was... I don't actually know many of them. Yeah, uh, was, was there. And I remember as Linda having to... Um, this was and when Emrys, the bearer of the barb, went down. As we like about 10 meters, 15 minutes from the gate, and it's like, oh, we can't leave them. Oh, come on. You know, because she was mm. teaching us how to do archery, remember, like a few summits ago? Yeah, I know. Yeah. Shout out to Kristen. Yeah. I like Kristen. Kristen's brilliant. So we uh, rally up, loud noise McGee goes off, and then Erwin takes the charge because I didn't know Erwin was Embercast. So we go in, beat the snot out of the Druge, rescue Emrys, bugger off. And then there's that sickening crunch of realization what I've just done is I've just broken down the feud. We're starting to find common ground, <laughs> almost like we're friends. And it's like, Ugh. <laughs> Oh, no. Yeah. Bonds forged in battle. Bo you know? I know, really Bonds difficult. Bonds forged yeah. in battle, really indeed. Cool. But yeah. Oh, my God. An ember cast. How ember could cast. you do it? Disgusting. Save <laughs> one. But yeah. After... It would have been worse if you'd left one to die, though. <laughs> oh, no, it would have been better. It would have been so much worse. So much better. It would have been, yeah. a, it would have been a real feud then. Because, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, yeah. No, it, was, it, was, it was very, very intense. Mm. I know, it was short. It really was short. I'm still an MC. Ruthless. <laughs> Thanks, so. Um I think I collapsed back into camp. No, yeah. wait. Yeah, of course. Branded brands. Because we didn't do Branded Brands until much later. Yeah, that was about 11. Until like 10 o'clock. Yeah, but I'm trying to think what... It was what 11 because we were waiting for do? Senate yeah. to finish. Mm. Yeah. Should we talk about that? I don't know what I did. Yeah. No, I, I have no um, idea what I did in the meantime. I actually <laughs> don't know. I disappeared off to, to MC. Went, went around the field for a bit and then came back to camp. Uh, Branded Brands election. Mm. Oh, the general so having, boring soul. All this adventure you're missing having, out on. <laughs> there's a lot in it, but not really for a podcast. Um, yeah. Have it given you've listened to the E4 podcast and know what has occurred. Um, we have we had to have a brand of brands election this summer. Um, uh, Tiki Henry Tiki's character Tiki's dead now. Henry. But we always call him Tiki because of yeah. how much of a mark he's made. Uh, put a little mm. bit, put quite a bit of effort into sort of getting us a little more organised for this election. Um, and so there were a few things that we were running on. Um, if you wanted to go for the new leadership of Black Scar, um, mm. I didn't go for, but you two did. Mm. Yeah. Well, he actually spoke to us at the very, very beginning of the event. 
he said all, all prospective uh, people who want to stand to come and talk and we had a quick chat about it quick briefing um, it was so it was so much fun I was yeah, yeah. barely I was barely standing so I, I got to, to MC I, had, it. I was given a seat which was nice that's what I want to say I want to say thank you for the seat <laughs> I was very happy about that part the, the thing, the overwhelming thing I remember, and then Chris, I think maybe you might remember more about it than I do, was I was so impressed by, for the most part, everyone was taking it really, really seriously, which made it feel more weighty. Mm. And it meant that there was a lot more serious conversation around it. And that whole conflict bit was really, really cool because it was, it meant something a bit more suddenly. And also, I just really loved the, the, the papers that had been given out with the things on it for people to read. I just thought mm -hmm. that was just such a nice touch. Mm, the questions, you know? yeah. Yeah, that we, they've been we had like, this person's going to ask this one, this person's going to ask this one, you know, I was like, we'd, oh, it, it felt like everyone. We'd pre-written pretty much most of the questions by one on one of four things that we, we judged as worthy for, you know, sort of Black Skull. Just really kind of set out structure so that it doesn't go on too long was the intention. Mm -hmm. Um, we ended up having four candidates um, who all stood on very different ground. <laughs> yep. um, over, I'd argue Tadpole and I were on pretty similar ground. Yeah, we only Matthew, Matthew because you went what he said to half of the questions. Yeah, but, because he was but, saying things I would have but said also, that to some of mine as well, actually. And yeah, mine was. But also, <laughs> having heard why you were so tired, that makes a lot more sense now. Uh, um, yeah, yeah. Whereas <laughs> prior, prior to it, it was just like, I was, so in it. Pain. <laughs> I was in so much pain. I was in so much pain. I think realistically, I, uh, the the main reason, the impetus I had behind running for it was one, I wanted to run because of everything that happened at E4, as you'll have heard. As you heard um, in the podcast. As, as you, you heard, heard in the podcast. Episode, it's definitely complete. Um, but also because it wasn't, we didn't want it to be a shoe in for Tadpole. And I don't actually believe that people have to run opposed i think people should be allowed to run unopposed but i did agree with the reasoning of people yeah. saying uh, that's an icy icy i think people should be allowed to run unopposed oc i think ben needed an opponent an opponent not just because it's more fun that way and more interesting for everyone watching and it's more game um but also because it always pushes you to try a little bit more and yeah, the, just the pure fact of like him role. knowing. Yeah, and you know, we didn't know if anyone else was going to run until closer to the event. So it was for a while, all I knew was it was uh, he and I both running. And then I think it was nice for him to feel that little edge of competition Def as well. It's... So. He needed it because he was talking like he'd got it already. Um, yeah, yeah. And, and that it just becomes less game when you're like, oh, well, that's easy. You just don't care as much. And I think fundamentally we all play luck because we want to care about stuff, right? We want to mm. feel feel things and yeah, you get try much more out and of it if you put strive. Yeah. No, I to yeah. be fair, I like have barely emo barely any emotion when I LARP, so Yeah, but so when you LARP? Wait, this is LARPing. Are we LARPing? Are we LARPing, Are we LARPing? Are we LARPing right now? Oh my god, yeah. this is um, just took like a tab yeah, of ecstasy cool. and then just Turned up in the so we're laughing was... as our future selves, remember? Oh, of course. It yeah. was 30 minutes, pretty much on the dot. Um, oh, yeah, it was we kept it very slick. Awesome. Everyone got involved. Interestingly, not everyone ended up voting. Mm. Hmm. Very interesting. Really? Oh, but... there was the group around the other fire. Um, no, and a couple of uh, abstainers. Really? Now that mm. is interesting. Hmm. That is very interesting. Mm. I did not know about that because, of course, mm. my back was turned. Yeah, because like, that's how that works. Yep. And that is how that works. That's um, interesting. But yeah, you, did some, you, was that some amongst the group did not want any of them. <laughs> was that really? deliberate? I don't know why you could... Why, what was wrong with some of the candidates? You know, the religious fundamentalists. <laughs> um... <laughs> religious fundamentalist. Uh, the mage fundamentalist. What, what? Mage fundamentalist. Magic fundamentalist. Uh, wasn't it anti-magic? Anti-magic, yeah. Anti-magic. Uh, yeah, an active heretic. Yeah. And uh... who's the? Though we don't have any active heretics standing. Because he went All imperial right. faith is a lie, and I just stood. <laughs> <laughs> he was opposite me. Like, Are you sure about that? <laughs> okay, okay, yeah. To be fair, there was there was that for legal reasons. 
<laughs> my goodness me. No, I think I think you're talking about you're talking about pictures, right? Because he did say yeah. some really dodgy shit. Yeah. It was so fun. It was so wild. From my perspective, I went into this being like, oh, probably Tadpole. Tadpole is the natural yeah. like he's essentially the heir. It's not like he's he was someone who's just decided before. he wanted. Yeah. He was mm. second before. He'd really done that. He'd been involved in a lot of the deal stuff before. He he's kind of led a lot of Black Scar stuff before, so he really was the heir to the brand title in many ways. But he had to still run for it and get elected. Um, Chris runs for everything, as we know, uh, hence why he's ended up in so many situations. Oh me! Oh, so I've Melvin. Um, yeah, yeah, I, I do no, like no, you. competing. Yeah, you do like a good election. It's just fun. Um, you know, you've got and to also, someone. yeah, and and Linda, you know, who knows what he believes in. And look, I would I would have run, but uh, I actually like don't need I don't need a position to have power over Black Scar. So you that, know. that is true. That is true. <laughs> I'm sorry, says the unofficial official conscience of Black Scar. Yeah. Don't forget, don't forget. But um, yeah, Pickers was a great fun one. But the thing was, y- y- you two, right? I knew what I knew what Tadpole was going to stand for because he's Tadpole. We all know what he stands for. We knew what he was going to say. Do we? Yeah. You were like, okay, it's kind of fine. I sort of vaguely could guess what you're going to say. I think well, yeah, it, I it was it never going to get you elected, but it was also kind of on brand. And then what was... Pickers just came out with all this stuff. And we were like... Well, Pickers came out with it. And then and then Lindy rebuttaled with, with, with killing all Vates or something. Yeah. yeah. Just, um, the realms yeah, are a fast. cancer upon creation. They are not virtuous. Yeah. And as a result, we should not yeah. engage with magic of any kind. Um, in fact, I actually have to it. respect his play. His yeah. play, was it something like, I think we need to sink all of our money into, was it into magic? Yeah, yeah it was into magic. We need to sink all of our money into magic. We're going to make uh, a coven... We're gonna start casting all these rituals. We're gonna economically build it up. Do this, and everyone was like, "Yeah, all right." And then Chris came out, and that's when it—that was the fun part, because that's when I think Pickers was like, "Okay, now we can have a bit of a, an argument about this," and it was a cool argument because you weren't allowed to rebut very much, <laughs> but it became really pointed. Mm. Oh, it was fun. It was real fun to witness. I had a great seat, best seat in the house. Yeah, the no, the no heckling rule was awesome because it allowed everyone to you were 40 you had 30 seconds and like tiki had a bloody knife to our throats he no, I had a knife, knife that I had and, and, and Varen, yeah yeah i was Drifting stepping towards you as you were taking YouTube, longer yeah yeah i like i really liked that that was also really fun yeah. i think that's something like, we could oh, take oh, to oh, well you could take to the nation and um push that because that's a really like high drama way of getting um an election done but it's still clear mm-hmm. and poignant as well. It felt gamey, but concise. We we were originally planning to poison everyone, um, but we realised that that, w- that wouldn't actually leave enough time for them to uh, to give give their answers. <laughs> yeah. Um, and you know, if anything did go wrong, we would be responsible. Um, but you know, it's fine. But yeah, it was good. Um, it was then pretty late. It was like eleven o'clock at that point. It was too cold um, to go out drinking. Is, is what I've written down, and I, I stand by it. it. We sat by the fire and had some beers, and it was quite a chill excuse that. Play, I actually popped, chill popped back it was to MC, do a bit of, uh, you know, closed shop, late night strategy, moving those bits about, making some plans for the next day. I, brought I did you the general nuts. thing. That was it. And That's what you, I did. That... <laughs> yeah, you did. Was that that evening? <laughs> Thanks, Patty. Was that that Sorry. evening? You brought me some nuts at some point. Because I wasn't alive by the next evening. You don't think you're going to last? Nah, the <laughs> machine's saying um, 82% odds of fatality. The Deadpool on we... Lindir has gone up drastically. Right, oh my god. Yeah. It's but six yeah, events. Not I don't much have... happened. <laughs> it was too cold. I was wandering around with a beer for a bit, but after some yeah. late night strategy, main yeah. plans for the next day, it was bed. But holy yeah. shit, what, what a morning. <laughs> yes. What a morning. Take us away, I, I Honestly, mm-hmm. props to Finn. Big yeah. props. Big ups. Yeah, Big, big ups to mm-hmm. Finn for organising the Black Scar EMU, putting loads of effort into getting some stuff sorted. We'd all put effort into putting some kit together, some purple together. Um, and honestly, we just we just looked awesome. Mm. Like, Finn and created banner. this, like... 
Oh, and oh, the, the banner! The Holy banner. shit banner. that Chris had made! Yeah, that was the banner fun. that Chris that had made, project. like, literally in the week leading up to it, that Chris is currently making in the week leading <laughs> up to E1. It's looking great, man. It was so cool. So I don't have a lot to say about this, but what I will briefly the, say... The Rent Boys. Just... Wait. <laughs> Section 21. Section Wait. 21. <laughs> Get the Rent. Oh, dear me. Um, all from my perspective i have not monstered in about two years i think last time i monstered was the first e1 back and the longest arc. and not because you're not doing your fair share it's because you're Thank reffing you, yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. aka slacking off no yeah i was reffing but i was too jealous of all of you <laughs> that, that morning the planning that had gone into it the look was so cool. Um, I didn't want to be. I was playing an Ion Tack, which mm. is like I was playing our one uh, commissar healer. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Oh, it was so good. I was completely. I had no armor. I had a couple of layers to keep warm, and I managed to use my no someone else's water bottle holster. Maybe mine. I don't actually know someone's water bottle holster. I think. I think it was Melvin. To put the banner in. And I had it, like, the banner braced in it. Yeah, it might have been. And I was carrying the banner. And I haven't had that much fun for a long time. Just carrying that banner was incredible. I, there are some good shots of it. Someone's got some shots of we, it. We had some thrills. We were performing rituals. We had mass the venom as an option. We So we were we were Stormborn, so we were the full-on... Um, battle like, mages. Mages. Rod and mages. shield. Shield wall. Mm. Shield wall I had a quarter staff. First time fighting with a quad staff properly, um, and running around healing people, trying to give. I all I recall is trying to give some some rousing speeches about marble countertops. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I think I got a hell so of a speech fun. at one point. It yeah. was a, it was really nice because like obviously it's the first time everyone's played Grendel in a while, and they've been really bigging up the like uh, group EMUs as mm. well. Mm. so there was so it just felt like there were so many really cool pulled together emus on in the grendel side i think it probably was the same on sunday but it felt like everyone had just been like we're gonna bring everything to this and it was like a mini character of your own you know yeah it was fantastic it was like an rnr character or something the rituals were so cool i've never done rituals before and i got to do one um, and pull off a mass venom, I think, right at the end. It was and venom, yeah. It was dope. It was just really, really cool. Yeah, I'll, I just remember it just all being a fun time. Uh, looking forward to more Grendel. Um, Mr. I Snip also vividly up. remember one of my final lives as a Grendel Eye on Tack taking on three Dornish at once <gasps> with one quarter staff. <laughs> and I'd like managed to parry them all. And I was just like <laughs> bam, 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 bam. Just parrying them all left, Pulled right, center. Like I managed it. to take them on. It felt sick. Um and then when they finally got me, um, I then had like a, a leagueish doctor performing some sort of um autopsy. Finding rocks yes, in my guts and Ian, stuff. Ian mentioned the leagueish doctor too. That sounds just so cool. Mm. Like so much fun. There was one. Yeah. Um, I think they talked about themselves on the on the Facebook, mentioned it, so they've been adequately praised. There was one particular highlight for me in this battle, and it was the "You are a not a very nice imperial." So um, we we mm -hmm. this was towards the end. We spawn the bottom gate as a unit. We go in, crunk, we we die because even though we have shield and wand and like paralyze and shatter and repel, um, we we have I, I had two hits. Um, so me and Finn charge in. We get crumped. And we're screaming, no, 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 please don't kill us. We'll pay you off. We'll pay you off. Um, I did not have any money on me, but this worked on eight of the 15 Imperials that killed me. Um, anyway, the um, they lean down and one of them starts stomp, you know, miming stomping on Finn's head as an execute. It, it's, it's done very safely, don't worry. And um, Finn dies next to me whilst a, a physic actually gets me up. Um, I think the physic got confused. They must have thought I was like an Apulian orc or something because of like, the hair on the mask and stuff. It's not like the generic... I haven't got a regular monster mask. It's uh, it's my own custom one. So um, custom. 
you know, must have just thought I was on side. So I stand up. I look at the look at this um, Draugr mage who's just beaten the shit out of Captain Finn, and I just go paralyzed. And then the entire battle stops, or what it feels like the entire battle just stops, and everyone in the circle looks at us, and there's just silence. And then I start wailing on him with my with my rod, which is a which is a you know my LARP weapon rod. Phrasing, and, yeah, yeah, I fucked up there. <laughs> and I just go, you are not a very nice Imperial to get the hits in because we got ten seconds in the paralyze. But after the third hit. <laughs> this fate, uh, this mage starts to tilt, and then I say Imperial, end of the 10 seconds, collapses to the floor. <laughs> and then everyone's just there like shocked Pikachu. And then the same physicist who got me up is just going, oh, that's probably politics, goes down to try and get up the winter mage, and I just go, paralyze. <laughs> and at this point, people are starting to get that I'm not on their side. Raise my arms. <laughs> Who's next then? Three leagueish, uh, with like you know the great swords come in, hack me to bits. Just like impale, <laughs> it's like impale, cleave, and pale repel, and I just go. Bleh. Amazing, awesome bit, awesome bit of RP. Ask yeah. Finn about it because he got the whole like third person view of it. Really, really That's fun. That's really, really cool. <laughs> really, I love that. Really, yeah, love that bit. Oh man, Brindle. yeah, I love things like that. Those are those are the cool moments. You get so many cool, like just as many cool moments from being a monster as from being a player, and I just really like that that is a thing, you know? Yeah. If not more. I meanwhile got blown halfway across the field by your bloody banner as Crazy. the wind was so strong. I had to like grip it like I was sailing it, essentially, like from both corners to stop the, the dangly bits you had on each, each corner from like flicking around and killing someone, probably. Oh, it was so much fun. Oh, they looked like yeah, their um, arms tablecloth weights just to keep it straight. Mm. Which, which in, in Less Wind, perfect. Like, when we were in the forest, it was amazing. But as soon as we got wind, it probably needs a crossbar or something. It was so gorgeous because I could tilt it down and make it lower and it would still hang right. Yeah. Oh, yeah, it yeah. Was, I mean, it's, it got, really it's hanging good. from the crossbar. But, um, yeah, like, flag, flag to a difficult one. Well, they're not difficult, Very but difficult. you know what I mean. Yeah. When it's blowing, but it was it was blowing. beautiful. It felt cool as well. Mm. Like I felt cool. <laughs> I was just some scrub, and I felt really cool. Um, I think that you never realise how much people gather around banners. Actually, it, people just kept handy. coming and rallying on. I was just like, oh, everyone just keeps walking towards me, <laughs> which was great, except when it was Imperials. Yeah, I um, think that rounds up the I battle. For us, yeah, mm -hmm. post, post berry picking, mm. London fog number three. Oh, I had me. a shower. It was so good. I'd Such already had nice one shower. in the morning, so it was just get ready for MC with a nice London mm -hmm. fog from the coffee stand. <sighs> Shout out to London fog. Uh, who are they? What are they called? Do we know the really nice coffee, coffee company? Something like coffee that. Coffee company that do London fog. Oh, this it's just so good. It's vanilla. Earl Grey, right? It's just yeah, like a latte. Oh, London Fog and Tuna Melt. If you ever want me to do anything for you, I see it's anything, see, listener. Probably anything. <laughs> <laughs> I I would I would do anything for a London Fog and a Tuna Melt. <laughs> that is my price. That's all it takes. It was it's so good. Actually, what do we think of the new trader area? Very cool. Pretty like cool. It. Yeah. Yeah. It felt a bit empty. It felt like something was missing, though. I think it was I a wonder... little too stretched out. I think they yeah. could have brought it in a little bit. It could bit. have come round a bit and made more of a court, um, court to it. Yeah. But then if it, was, if it was a nicer event, you'd all go and sit on the grass around there and eat. True. Mm. But so yeah, the, 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 the food hall in the centre was useful and just having it all up oh, there yeah. was, was really nice, yeah. yeah. Yeah, it was cool. Meant that it God made it feel really as crowded as well. There. Yeah. yeah, it was strange not having God in its usual spot. It felt really like unsettling at first, but yeah, it's fun. I liked it. Oh gosh, I don't feel like that. You'll never, you'll never guess what I did. Much happened. I think oh, I went to MC. Did, did you? Did you wow. Oh. I went to MC. It all goes to MC. Wow. The musical. It's one track long. Um, oh, Fifty-seven. <laughs> again. I'm having a good time. Mm. Although it was a rather long one, and this is why I think 
Linda, it was at this point you gave me nuts. Mm. It might not have been. Linda, I thought. Well, no. I think it was this afternoon. It one, wasn't. It I was dark sat down for because ages. I bought it at a uh, portable bar from Kirsty, actually, no less. Um, when it was night time, and that was definitely Friday night because the reason I was right, going it was out dating was after the right. assembly of vigilance it had given me my work for the weekend and the ambassador right. to Axos. Well, well, I'm not saying you're way, wrong, soul, but you're factually incorrect. No, I think I am wrong. <laughs> there was like there was an in- inquisition of risen stuff as well. There's yeah. a lot of things going on. Yeah, um, there was a lot. Yeah, Riz got in. Uh, that was fun to watch. Yep, I was there for the whole. Oh, but it hour. was, it was, it was, it was fun. MC because I was sorting out cold sun things. It nice. was good, having a good time. Oh yeah, we were gonna do cold sun that afternoon. Well, we had sorry, we had cold cold sun Even... skirmish, but also just general military oh, campaigning yeah, military stuff. stuff. Yeah, I was sorting out cold sun. It was good fun. Um, yeah. let's, let's not talk about that on a podcast. <laughs> <laughs> MC is very fun. It's it's not podcast talk though. My God, no. And then this person said there. this, and then this person <laughs> said this, and it means something Although, because of all of the history of how long you've spent in the tent. Yeah, and the personalities. But I yeah. will say there was one thing that it, I suspect will happen at the end of the Sunday MC that would be fun to mention. It's like it honestly. Sometimes it's like EastEnders. Sometimes it's like a maths lesson. <laughs> it could go either way. EastEnders is such a good description. <laughs> it is. <laughs> it really is. The revolving yeah. cast of people who've known each other for different amounts of years, and and yeah, the characters um, that have developed, and the ready to have like, an the petty spats and arguments yeah. that happen in there. Yeah. It's great. Yeah, love it. God, I yeah. miss it. But again, it's it. it it is it is something that you need the history for, or it just doesn't yeah. doesn't really gel. So. Mm-hmm. Go to um, MC is what I'm saying. But well, I think Chris, you had the most interesting fun. afternoon. Yeah, uh, yeah, I'm I'm waiting till I cold sun at this much. point. I went, yeah, I went to get a beer. I think at some point in the afternoon, yeah. that was about as exciting as it got. I All right. Pressure. So, um, gosh, how do I start this? The oh, note just says, oh, we didn't talk about. F- sorry, before we do that, there was a couple of things before time in. I bought new armor. Mm. I forgot about the new armor. Oh my god! <gasps> All I want to say see, is, it dear was listeners, beautiful. on this MP3 based podcast, uh, this armor is gorgeous. <laughs> Sol is this. losing the plot. <laughs> there I was. It's a cat. I don't know. There's a cat. There is a cat. Oh, hey, cat. There's a cat. As you can see, dear listeners, Wait, there's a very the cute little black cat on Sol's camera. Picture this. There's a cat on. Okay, so <laughs> basically, I was Sorry, going shopping. I know I am trying to not be distracted by the cat. I am trying really, really hard. Can you see the can you see the amount of effort? This is Oh, it's so cute. Hi. Anyway, I went shopping with Finn and Bob, um, looking for some bits and pieces, gloves and all that. Uh and also armor for Boppy. Uh Herelka, who wanted some leather armor. And we went into one of the shops. I I don't remember which I never remember the names of them, but it's the one where you go in and it's got like a tent, and then you go into a second tent behind, that has like some SFX things, but all of the front tent is like little weapons and armor. I can it's past honest gyms. I can't remember which one it is called, because I'm terrible. But we walked in and I just randomly picked up a thing from like the um, rails, thinking, oh, I'm just going to show. Herelka, this is, it looks like, you know, it's sort of that rusty dark red, which is okay for Navarre, and it was leather, obviously, and it was crisscrossy. So I was like, cool, I'll pick it up. And I looked at it and I went, oh, oh, that's actually really nice. It's like a bit asymmetrical. It's got some like cool tooling on it. It's a sleeveless sort of tunic over thing. So it's not too fitted and it wasn't crazy expensive. And I was just like, oh, I just just really like it and Finn's like why don't you try it on I'm, why don't why don't I try it why don't I try it on um anyway uh listeners um you can probably guess what happened next I tried it on um and I didn't take it off until nighttime pretty much I actually put it back on over the chain mail as well that's what that didn't help my Friday night situation 
but it's gorgeous and I love it very, very, very much. And I have a cool shot that one of our friends took of me in the kit. So it was nice. I felt like actually I've got some good armor. I've got full medium now. And Isa's kit is like done? Question mark? It's never done until so, yeah, you get it was fully great for archery. plate armor. <laughs> <laughs> One day, maybe. It's never but done no, until you die. Yeah, there is that. There is that. But also, it was nice because it was good for archery because it's sleeveless. So I could have... It just looked cool. It felt cool. <clears throat> it fits really well. Yeah. That was my one of my favorite moments of the weekend before Friday. I completely forgot to mention it. So there we go. All right, Chris. Should we rip the Band-Aid off for you? Oh, I don't want to. Well, I, do, I absolutely want to. Uh, don't get me wrong. It's what I've been waiting for for, for the last <laughs> few, for the next four weeks to talk about. But um, the, the fucking I mean, champion of vigilance. We don't God. have to. I just, I feel you like... don't have to. It's to the, I, your podcast. It's our the podcast eight now. people who loyally listen. Actually, it's, it's actually quite a few more than that now, especially in Canada. Um, hello, Canadian listeners. Yeah, I know, right? Not expecting that. Um, I'm sorry. Get so fuck off. They're not going to be listening <laughs> anymore. <laughs> right. Okay, let's get to it. Champion of Vigilance. Quick heart back to Thursday night. Oh, sorry, Friday night. Catch up with uh, Finton Founders Dance, who is the ambassador to Axos. Uh, Finton and uh, Rivardi, the former champion of vigilance before their tragic death, F in chat. Um, we're basically getting all the groundwork for getting the shield back, the shield of vigilance called Born Watch. And what happened when Rivardi unfortunately was unalived, um, Lindir courageously stepped into that position almost unopposed. Um, <laughs> now, just just to very briefly highlight, the Vigilance Assembly does not like that and did not like that. And there's been at least, <laughs> at least two attempts to revoke Linda at this point now. Um, there was a, there was a judgment of, like, assembly to principle, like, do we even support this guy? The answer is yes. Um, that was done between they E just, They just, and just don't like the cut of your jib, matey. So one of them said to you me, You stepped in on that Ernest uh... bald head and went, no, <laughs> not it's, that one. <laughs> one of the quotes, I'm not going to name the source, it said that Lindy suffers from a serial case of not being Rivardi. And um, that <laughs> could not be more true. It could not be more true. But yeah. anyway, I go to Finton. Like, hey, Finton, you know when I like, you know, narrowly survived being um, revoked? In the last two summits, um, I've got this ilium now because I'm proving I'm definitely taking this seriously. And then, like, I've got it. Let's go. Let's get this done. Let's get the shield back. And I'm going to be deliberately biased here on this podcast, right? But Finton turns around to me and says, "Oh, actually, I've, I've self-sourced it because I don't like your attitude of only giving the ilium once we agree to have you as champion. A champion should want to do that." Now, this is categorically the correct answer but linda doesn't like that so um <laughs> linda um it's not categorically uh, the correct answer it is a correct answer i, th I think it is the it's the, it's certainly the right it is the attitude you need to be a good champion um in my humble opinion as a former champion now um <laughs> i have some opinions so um on other your cv matty i see general I don't, think I, I, I don't see champion so, uh, shut no, up. no, not not that part. That's not the part <laughs> I have an issue with. I promise you, the part I have an issue with that is interesting. That the person who told you that isn't a member of the Vigilance Assembly. No, no, it's not. But anyway, look, there's loads of inconsistencies here, but that's and spicy. if we spend all day looking at them, we'll blow our brains out. So let's just not talk about it anymore. We're going to focus on the facts. That's, that's right? from my. It's like too. big talk. Let's do this. So anyway, Fint is like. Um, well, I've already got the alien myself by taking out debt. And what you can do to prove your you know, prove your uh, dedication is go and sort out my debt. And I'm like, you just spent my money. <laughs> you, you, <laughs> you've spent my money on my behalf without telling me. And now I have to go and deal with your debt so that you can get the credit for all the hard work you've put in. Oh, I don't like that. So um, anyway, that's that's Friday night. We fast forward to me, that's, yeah, a little bit of Friday night I spent trying to liquidate this Ilium. It's where I got the nuts from for Sol. Um, mm -hmm. Really struggled because I was meant to find a person in Varushka, give them the Ilium. That was it. Real simple. Didn't get done. 
um, mixture between skirmishes. The line here says, uh, not got time to shit. Um, that was a major feature of the weekend, actually, just not having enough time to shit. Um, a, and feature, then it... a feature of the weekend. <laughs> yeah, sure, a feature. Um... It's a feature, not a bug. <laughs> it's not a bug. But anyway, it gets to like post-battle Saturday and still haven't done it. They're meeting all the other champions at 1 p.m. We'll talk about that later. But anyway, on the way in, I find Fintan looking a little bit upset and worried in um, in the hub. Um, Fintan has an artifact shield in his possession. It is not the shield that we're after, but it's a shield. And the idea is to do swapsies with Axos for the shield we want. And in return, they get a shield of equivalent value. That's it. So... I need to help Finton with some close protection duty, actually, uh, because what's happening is the um, the Axu are sending an ambassador across for the coronation, because obviously we've got a new throne now. So the idea here is that they come in, give a gift to the throne, and that's fine. That's all good and done. The twist is that there is a imposter, a false ambassador from Axos, in theory, who he seems to be a political rival of the actual mm -hmm. ambassador from Axos. Basically, shenanigans are about to ensue. So I have to go and speed run my champions meeting. The one I have um, missed th two, three events in a row, so further making me look dreadful, then um, rapidly get as many people as I can to turn up at the forge at 1.30. And Blackscar do a great job. They turn up fully armored, ready to go. There's about five or six of them. And then we enter what is possibly one of the finest heist attempts I've seen, even in my experience, um, in Anvil. I would just like to say, Linda, um, I think it was uh, Blythe came past and went, Farron, Linda needs you. I went, yeah. for what? He went, he just needs people at the hub. And I went, yeah, people isn't me. And then walked <laughs> off. Was this before or after I saw you going? That, that was after my fourth London fog. And I was heading back to MC. <laughs> Please, God, sponsor us. I want all the free London Fogs. <laughs> that would be amazing. Sponsor us, but only in London Fogs. I don't so, care about the rest of the menu. Look, look I, I'm sure you're, I'm having the most amazing time drinking London Fogs and doing military admin. Talk, talk to us about the greatest heist you've ever witnessed at Empire. So imagine this. There is legitimately a person with a bag full of goodies that you know about. Perhaps a Grendel ambassador. Perhaps an Axos ambassador. And you realise that by impersonating someone, perhaps the throne guard, that you might be able to collect this bounty on behalf of the throne. So what these players do, uh, some League Bravos show up and uh, claim to be the throne guard. Not only do they have sashes, Incorrect sashes, no. but they look pretty damn good. Uh, they have a sealed oh. letter from Sparrow with her well, with a, her wax seal. It's not her wax seal, but for people who don't know what that is, the oh Riz was my there. God. So Vinton and I are sat there going like, "This is like me, me with my OC Chris brain. Like this is 100% a scam. They're all wearing masks. They're all armed. And they just keep sending their throne guard." Why are they all league? Um, but, you know, ignore, I'm going to ignore that because more than anything, I want to watch because I see an opportunity here. <laughs> I, see, I see a way to make money. Um, so they had over this letter. Ambassador opens it and says, it, it says, we are throwing guard. Sorry, these are my throwing guard. Please give your gifts. I'm very busy. Kiss, kiss, love, love. Vesna. So, um <laughs> Um, did it actually say kiss kiss love Vesna? It, it didn't, but it might as well have. Um, it wasn't oh, written in a very. It, it was written really in a, quite a formal tone, but it just didn't. It didn't sit right. So um, they. Yeah. <laughs> I've still got my my goons, like you know the usual like Spider Steve, Spider's dad. That gang is like stood away, so it's just me and Finton here, and they're bickering about like, you know, the the ambassador thinks they're in trouble. Um, Finton assures them they're not. And then one of the Bravos casts Night Pouch on the fucking bag of stuff he's holding. So no one can get in except that Bravo. And at this point, we're like, what are you doing there, pal? Mm. 
Um, <laughs> really, really sus. This was where like that was that was a really shaky move to make. So at that point, could have drawn swords, butchered each other. Um, he has a good line for it though. Is well, we're under orders, so we're not letting anyone else open this, but we're happy to come to the militia tent with you. And I think that was their mistake because at that point they they lost the agency to do the robbery. At least they well they did. Mm. They didn't know that. And what they what they um, they joined us as we started to walk towards um, the militia tent, and this is when the snap of the fingers. Those of you who've taken part in my robberies before knows what that means. Uh, my goons come out of the shadow, but then instead of attacking, we basically mark up each bravo. So it's one on one at this point. So they've got a circle around the ambassador and Finton, and we have a circle around them. And the tension is, you could. Yeah, I know it's an expression to say you could cut it, but literally I, I could feel the gums receding on my teeth because they were they were all hands on their um on their fencing blades. All of our guys have got hands on daggers and stuff, and they're just staring at each other, daring each other to try it. Because I think the point was to start going to the militia yeah. tent and rob the ambassador at that point because it would be like an eight on three. It's now an eight on eight, and that's going to be much harder to do. We mm-hmm. get to the tent... Uh, myself, Finton, bandit leader goes in alongside the Axu ambassador, and uh, they open their. We, we cast. We get rid of. Um, I think it's is it words of ending or unmaking or something, where basically the pouch is opened, and inside is a dose of truly owl. And one hundred doses of bite. <laughs> now, in theory, this is for. Oh my. Uh-oh. Yep. Alongside some other like money and stuff like that, but like a crazy amount of cash. Street value stuff. Of bite. Yep. They had a little brown box full of blue um sort of pearly tablets. So it wasn't in its like final dust form. It was um actually like big fist size like, like fist sized crystals. Not quite fist sized, like yeah. you know, I guess like knuckle sized crystals, but crazy yeah. am- crazy amount of bite. You are on mute, so you got the block right, rather than the yeah. the the baggy. Yeah, yeah, we got the kilo brick. <laughs> yeah, and um, yeah, every single militia officer in that tent is just like, fuck. <laughs> Ambassador is like, oh, well, I'm, I don't, I haven't committed any crime. Please don't take this off me, but I'll understand if you do. <laughs> and then the League Bravo captain, so you can see the tears just welling in the corner of his eyes because he, he knew there was something in there worth stealing. But <laughs> watching a hundred doses of bite get, <laughs> getting put into the militia bin, it made us all weep. It was it was upsetting as hell. Um, I've missed out yeah. lots of it there uh, for brevity. But yeah, fundamentally, close protection squad of Lindir saves Finton and the ambassador from getting robbed. And this is the moment where Finton's opinion, in retrospect, starts to change a little on Linda. He's earning a bit of respect. He's actually doing something useful. You know, he's doing his job as champion oh. by being vigilant. And I'm sure that will come in handy later. That good. It might. <laughs> Who knows? Who knows? But yeah, that's the the emergency axe. I think we all know, listeners. I think we all know, listeners. I think in the in the future we will know. <laughs> quite intimately how it how it ends yeah but yeah fun where, where does that get us to where does that get have we reached cold sun yet um no. nope no i think the next thing for me it doesn't there's two very minor things one is what justin makes me feel very handsome i'm not going to elaborate and the second one <laughs> is uh, Linda was made auditor no, no, of the No, no, wait. Thimble. I have questions. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> we don't have what? time for questions, Matty. Move it. Uh, I'm going to ask them in the next episode. Put Send your questions in to... Uh... <laughs> 090331 It's 069069, but please, please, Greg, don't text it again. We can't handle any more data. Please, Greg, stop texting the number. Greg, you're going to go bankrupt. Greg, stop it. <laughs> it's fishing an anvil for a way love, to get out of this. I love the, the banter, but we don't want to pay your phone bill. Yeah. <laughs> we're not liable for any bills. We're not, we're not liable for it. Yeah. Um, I won't elaborate, but the um, being made auditor of the thimble was quite interesting. 
So this was another member of Empercast who just won that boss position in the VAR. And of course, being champion of Vigilance, who better than to overlook it than me? Not the Imperial uh, yeah, Auditor or not, anything. But not the, the Imperial Auditor. No, but he was up to some other things. So he, he was, was kind of busy. <laughs> he was off, he was off be being fair, a, he was... a rancid heretic. He was well. He, he wasn't even doing that. He was busy. I don't, he's got beef. He's got real bad beef with someone in Dawn. And uh, if you've heard anything about it, that's all I'm going to say. Yeah, because that's his beef. Active plot. We'll, we'll leave that there. Very, quite active. Where's, where's... Some might say sort of sprinting. <laughs> <laughs> Championship exercise. Yeah, it's a lot. But what happened next, Chris? What was next? I actually oh, don't know. gosh. What yeah. was the next minor thing? The Inquisition of Rizart Dance Walker. Um, I'm going to ah. demand we skip this because I'll give you the one sentence answer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's taken enough of my life. I see an OC. And the dear listeners <laughs> of this podcast don't need to suffer with me. Oh, so yeah. just for a point of clarification, the beer I said I got before was now. Instead, um, oh, you came past and saw it. Yeah, oh, that's actually did. where yeah. I got the beer. Yeah. yeah, I saw it at the end. I yeah, did. That, that's it. <laughs> I did a testimony. I testimony to someone. That was fun. It was a cool testimony. I was very proud of it. Right, um, I, I can see it on the document. What's coming up? So let's do it. Because then we're getting to fun stuff. Mm. So the Inquisition of Result Dance Walker (TLDR) happened at Seven Hours of Virtue. <laughs> He gave a speech. The speech, the first this line This is was, not skipping it, Chris. You said you wanted it. to skip it's it. It's very brief. No, he said, look, fear inspires courage, right? You need fear to have courage. The big <laughs> hour-long inquisition, the, the end of that was you need to include the word can. Fear can inspire courage. That's it. That took them an hour of arguing. The end. Yeah, and, and the Inquisitor loved it so much uh, that they told him to be more active. <laughs> they in, did, actually, yeah. In, in is, am, I, am I correct in saying that Rizart demanded a penance? Yes, yes, I was there. He, yeah. he quite literally badgered them into giving him a penance because I think he was just like, I've got to get something out of this. Right. <laughs> and you know what? I love, I love you, Riz. You stink, but I love you. You did go around speaking for the rest of the weekend like you'd somehow been given this penance against your will. Yeah, he was moaning about <laughs> it all of MC. Such moaning after having all been like, no, 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 give me one then. Go on, go on, give me one then. And when they're eventually like, I don't, I don't need to go on. Give me. OK, fine. He wouldn't it's stop great. moaning in, in MC about fine. it. He wouldn't shut up. No, oh, he never does. That's how he yeah. That's how he gets you, you know? You just can't get a word in edgeways. And then, I don't know, he's ruling the world or something. Right, so, Lindy, we've we've covered a lot of things. Um, you've, you've had a, a, a wonderful time as champion. You've, you've avoided one revocation. You've avoided a second revocation. Tell me they didn't. Tell me they didn't do it again. I'm afraid to tell you, Sol dear, that they did drop the third one. <gasps> oh my god it's a third revocation, third revocation. It's a third revocation. I didn't show up to a meeting at for the af revocation <laughs> <laughs> it's a Toyota revocation um, <laughs> yeah the uh, so there was a Corolla. there was a meeting at 4pm I was there for the first 25 minutes waiting for them to talk to me they didn't bother I walk off because I got a skirmish at 4.30 and of, of course politics politics I see um, I stress to add here, this is all I see. I see politics. They go, oh, let's talk about the champion. Oh, look, he's fucked off. Ah, we should revoke him. Is absolutely the truth and what I think is correct. <laughs> so, yeah, they. Um, I get into... Um, I I the, the goddamn Embercast, known as my boss, Galen Embercast, Cardinal of Vigilance, comes really? up, asks how I'm going. And I'm like, yeah, it's going well. I'm just watching this. I'll just finish this Inquisition with Rizart. You know, I'm taking Faith real fucking seriously. How are you? <laughs> and he says, it's not good, Linda. And taps him on the shoulder and takes me to the fucking wall of... <laughs> the wall of time the sink. Wall of shame. And yeah, it's another revocation for Linda Thornhart for being derelict of duty. And I'm like, what? <laughs> I don't know what? When and who and what decided this? Blah, blah, blah. You've got, as usual... You've got until so tomorrow mad. to defend yourself. Um, 
twelve thirty, like immediately after the battle on Sunday, um, there'll be a meeting and you can present your case as to why you shouldn't be revoked, basically. Uh, at this point, Massey, I run into you. I think you have some choice yeah, words. I walked to over. <laughs> I walked over and you just went, look at that. And so I went over and I read it and I just, I was so pissed off. I was so annoyed. And I think I just went, that's absolutely bollocks. That is bullshit. What are yeah. you doing? I did know that your cardinal was next to you, but I also would have probably shouted about it anyway. And I was just so, I was like, that is, I, oh, because it's ridiculous. It's so ridiculous. I, Matty, think that it's unfair on Lindy. Like, I'm like, what are you doing? This is so stupid. Anyway, it's active plot now because I've written some letters. Uh, yeah. Oh, my God. And yeah. I've taken some names and we'll see what comes out of the rest of it. But I had a good old rant about it. Yeah. I was um, a few people from the assembly there ask, like, they gave me some opportunity to help them. One of them wanted help writing a, a statement. Um, I did that pretty well, I might add. And then uh, they said, you need to show us examples of people seeing your virtuous behavior. So once I finished this particular, um, help, finished helping this particular helping citizen. Helping this particular citizen. 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 <laughs> um, I say, oh, if you talk to the general <laughs> over there, you'll see he's raising a very interesting judgment. And he goes, you obviously know what it is, so why don't you just tell me? I was like, okay. Um, it's rewarding for me for all the work I did acquiring the Ilium for the shield. And he went, no, that's bollocks. Finton did that and walks off. Oh. And at this point, Lindir is ready to kill everyone in that tent. <laughs> he is, yeah. he, he is, he is yeah. fucking ready because at this point, I think um, the actual shield Born Watch has been acquired. So. Really? Yeah. yeah, yeah, it has oh been God, acquired at this point. Realize. So I'm not allowed to touch it, um, by the way. Um, I'm not allowed to take it onto the skirmishes that we're coming to very shortly. But yes, uh, under Lindir's tenure, the shield was reacquired using his money as leverage. And um, it was, yeah, it was done successfully. So of course, OC, GG Finton, you know, actually put the hard work in and Rivadi as well. This is the culmination of like, a year and a half. Yeah, plot. but also, it, it it absolutely is. But you can't downplay how much you had to do with it as well. Like, you're not taking undue credit here. You have been incredibly involved with it for like at least three events now. True. Which is not not nothing. You know, that's quite a lot still. It's quite the a long last time. Role has only existed for about five. <laughs> True. I mean, if I wanted to be very critical. Um... Finton could have just gone to the Butcher's Bank, for example, or the Virtue Fund, or, or X, Y, or Z, um, and done it. But yeah. yeah, like lots of money and effort went into it. Three revocations in, but we got it. We got it against against the odds. And, I am um, holding on to my rage with the phrase <laughs> yeah. active plot, active but, plot, active plot running through my head. Yeah, but anyway, um, we haven't got time to lament the fucking emotional crime not being allowed to use the shield is because I'm about to go on a skirmish. Um, the 8.30 one, which you two are going to yeah. talk about because I've talked far too much for the last 40 minutes. What do you mean? I don't know what happened on it. It's like was... it's the Ban Chatter song diary again. I was in MC. <laughs> <laughs> oh wow. my god. Wait, you weren't, were you? Mm. No, you and came it, on the and... skirmish. I came on. Oh, was it? Hang on. Oh, shit. We we're, we're there. We've reached skirmish. it. We've done it. We finally got it. Well, we okay. Finally got there. Uh, so, so I've got to go now. So if we could just wrap this up now before. No I'm kidding. <laughs> so um, okay, people, listen up. <laughs> There's some people, some not people. They're not people. Some scions that rocked up a couple people. seasons ago, known as the Cold Sun. And as as you've heard in our previous episode, um. We've got beef with the cold sun now. Yeah, we've faced these blue pricks before. We've faced these blue pricks before. And this time, we're not going to let them win. We wanted revenge. So, I'm not going to lie. The dish best cut, best served. Cold Fill sun. It in. Good. 
Um, nice. I don't think I've ever been as nervous before a fight mm. <laughs> as this one. We were, we were standing quite early, raiding, ready, chained up, first proper one. Um, um, I'm on something like 10 hits. I'm ready, but I'm not. I'm still really nervous. I still have mm. flashbacks to what happened last time. As, yeah. as I'm sure you've heard in the previous episode, it really did shake us. Um, mm. So, Corwin, his name is mentioned once again because he did the organization for this. He prepped a mass weakness. We had them ready with us. We had three. He, he prepped mass three weaknesses. mass yeah. weaknesses. Three Toyota Corollas. Three Toyota Corollas. I'm warmed up. I've had the the fourth, fifth London Fog of the weekend. I'm sugared up. I'm ready. But I'm still it's nervous. Old Grey and vanilla. <laughs> I'm at the back. And, and then fear. and then it and then it goes. And then we're off. Yeah. And I'm going, I'm not coming home. And and that's all, yeah. all that was going through my mind at that point. Rizart's going, I don't know what the fucking fuss is all about. This is gonna be fun. Yep. Because he, because as you heard in the previous there. podcast, he wasn't there. Um, so we go in, and we are supposed to be the hammer, and the other group of Navarre was supposed to be the anvil. However, quoting the Wintermark, who I think it was Wintermark, was it Wintermark or Dawn, who had joined, like he was just a, a marshal, had joined us, um, because they'd been running all of them so far, and he brought them on as like. Um, so I call tactical him advisor. Like, tactical advisor. Uh, at t- for, in his words, paraphrased. Oh, it's happened again, hasn't it? Um, <laughs> as we became the anvil. <laughs> yeah. Because we, the only ones, we're not the only ones. We're rocking up fast, and the others are slacking. Come on, yeah. Come on, team, move up faster. So we became the anvil. And then they can hit. I can I ask for one word, emotional word to describe how you felt when you saw that unit coming out of the forest? Um, uh, I was I was I was fine at that point. It was were, when okay. it was when they hit. It was when the mass weakness went off, and then they, they just, started swinging. They yeah. just don't stop. No, they don't. They don't. Uh, I'd be even more glad to be an archer because it meant I could just run away whenever it I all happened to. so fast. I was on the left side of ours that crumpled pretty quick. I'm not yeah. getting in close. I'm, I'm only Andy. And then there was a bit where this guy had like fallen over because we'd like st- struck him down. And then he just stayed on his knees, just swinging at knee height with this this thing. And then started like, helicopter swinging it around. It was oh. fucking terrifying. Couldn't mm. do anything. It's panicking. It's honestly, it was looking really hairy. For, it for really was. It, wasn't even it, it was. There was scary. a moment. And it there was, was a moment where I think it really could have gone either way because they, they, they still they have so much. They have so many hit points. Yeah. Because as they should as monsters, but they have so many hit points. They are pretty much all in heavy armor, whether yep. that's plate or chain, like fully covered. Just going. Whoop, 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 and they've whoop, whoop, all got great whoop. weapons. So they've got the yeah. reach and they are oh, they're just hitting it. Like and they don't Terrifying. stop. The, it's such a clever design to have them be completely emotionless and completely silent and just walk. They don't And run. they were they they managed to get everywhere. There was like a line behind yeah. me and a line in front of me at one point. Yeah. I was go, oh God, this is going badly. It's going really yeah. badly. Where are we backing up? Where are we backing up? And then, mm. as you said, there was there was just that like turning point. Yeah. Where... Suddenly, they were dropping, and then actually staying down. We'd finally yeah. started to get to the end of some of them. Oh God, yeah. that felt good. It didn't feel good. Yeah, it felt like we've got a chance. No, no, it felt like we had a chance. No. It started yeah. to claw it back. Because at this Lindy, point, Lindir, they've taken so much from us, Lindir. Yeah, um, at this point, friend, I was in, friend, well, just before that, song. I was informed that my proxy, uh, the proxy champion of Vigilance, had been killed um, in that battle. Ossian. You, you hadn't been informed at this point. You yeah. Had, um, no, no one knew you. Yeah, I did. <laughs> I was informed by a ref, but oh, Linda oh, didn't know. You but... knew, and I knew, but. Yeah. yeah. Cool. So it really, that, right. it really but hit no hard knew. when Sol said that. Because Ossian was gone. <laughs> um, 
Yeah. And Austin had gone in the first yeah. hit. Yeah. Because he was on the far like right hand side. Yeah, because me, Spider and Austin were there and we we got fucked. Like we yeah. we did the mass weakness and they were like, Okay, we're still better than you and they beat the shit yeah. out of us. They also execute you by like burning you into ash. Oh, they they ritual you into like flame, yeah. Oh, um, they're so cool, but so scary. Yeah, so scary. Probably had a I shield was... to parry the blows. I was, I was, <laughs> I was pretty just, yeah. It was, it was pretty emotional the entire fight. It was oh, actually, yeah. But then we finally started taking them out, floor in the last, and then there was just this moment where the last one dropped, and I think everyone was just like, it was silent for a second, yeah, as we all looked around, going. And then there was just this most primordial roar from everyone of victory. It was the most mountain well, blade so end good. of battle, but even better. Like it, it was, was just, oh. yeah, it was glorious. Oh my god. It was so it, powerful. I really I can still feel it now. Like mm, I really yeah. can, thinking about that. Of like I, we couldn't believe it. Really, I couldn't believe. It. I think everyone was expecting any second for them to get back up, yeah, or for there to be more or something. That was kind of yeah. just, or to see our casualties <sighs> or something like that. Because there yeah, were to look to turn everywhere. around and be like everyone's dead. There were there were bodies. Oh god, there were so many bodies. Yeah. Luckily, they were all gold, son. Yeah. Well, only only because some of the <laughs> bodies burnt. have been. The ones who moved fell. away. They were all cold sun. <laughs> all the bodies on the field when we finished our objective were all cold sun. So everyone was everyone was vi- victoriously yelling, looking around, yeah. going. Yeah. It was it was so powerful. Was... It took thirty seconds for the strength to the strength to the Empire, strength to Navarre to come out. Which is yeah. our usual go to. Yeah. It took thirty whole we seconds. We were really of quiet. Roaring. Really quiet. Yeah. For a while, like God, it was yeah, it was emotional. And then, and then after Andy that, and I actually went over and, and told the ref to pass on to the the monster team that it was a really good fight as well at the end because it was great. After that, like some people had broken to start looting people, <laughs> mm-hmm. and uh, I was I was doing the head count, and uh, it was at that point I realised there's not all of us still here. Yep. Um, That's when you realise because I a... left the field hearing from everyone we haven't lost anyone we haven't lost well anyone. no so, so the thing is I did the head count pretty much immediately while we were still roaring I was I was head counting and that's when I realised where's Ossian mm. and then literally I, I shit you not stepping into the side of my view is Whisper who just goes and we lost no one and I went Ooh. And so while everyone's kind of cheering, looting, I'm just standing there, sort of still welling up. Just not mm. not necessarily that it means anything, but that that whole thing was emotionally draining, and I am just done. Like I don't know how you yeah. can really care. So I was just standing yeah. there, basically motionless, just watching, God. waiting. It was counting. I, I got again. Anyone else. And oh, I, of course, it's more poignant after what we talked about in the four episode. That we managed yeah. to do it but yeah i was pleased once again i got some good shots i was got told to look for ritualists and shoot them and i did nice and we shot some ritualists and then we uh mass, i didn't actually see any of the mass weaknesses go off but they they must have done they yeah they did up where we were we're chatting yeah. to thorn fan yeah. the last weekend i think there's something went wrong not went wrong with theirs, but I think there was there was something around it. But we did get three in mm. to the skirmish. There, there were people who had fallen, like um, a couple of the Wintermark. I think it was a couple of the Wintermark where one of them was obviously doing the mass weakness. Uh, they'd lost their thane or whatever. Tapol had to console them. They were like, yeah. So despite Whisper just yelling very optimistically, we've lost no one. We did lose quite a few people. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. So I went. <laughs> I, I went off to go to the OC area near God uh, afterwards. And I as I was walking, I was just walking like up that bit near the monster towards the, the drinks. Yeah. And I saw Ossian. And um, I think they were called Quinn. I, I actually can't remember if that's an OC or an IC name. Yeah. Uh, the Draga, Navar Draga, the um, person with dwarfism. I apologise if that's not the right way to say it. 
But I was like, oh, hey, how are you? Because they were coming from Monster, like from yeah. the gate. And I was like, huh. And they went, huh. And I was like, what are you doing here? And Ossian was like, well, <laughs> we're not here. And I was just like, what? What do you mean? <laughs> like, we checked there were no bodies on the ground. He went, yeah, there weren't. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and he explained mm -hmm. that they'd been like obviously ritualed to death and immediately hidden behind a tree to yep. just watch the rest. So he'd spent the whole rest of that battle sat behind a tree watching us, watching the whole thing happen. And um, the other character was a year one E one character, which is got a sting. It's and it was over so fast. It, it was, was, yeah, so less than fifteen fast. minutes. But you know what? It was, it was a, it was a damn good time. It was, it was really good. It was good to win against the cold sun. I think we narratively needed that as well as emotionally. Oh yeah, no, we we did, we did. <laughs> and you know, for our own pride and confidence, <laughs> it was nice. It's so nice, thank God. I think. That was most of it for the rest of my Saturday, other than just reacting yeah. to a few other things that occurred. So well, obviously, it, oh, it was what well, there was one other thing that happened before this, slightly earlier. So I came back to camp at one point before we had the cold sun skirmish. I can't remember. This was probably like after lunchtime, I think, even. Hmm. Um, and I walked into camp. Uh, and I said, oh, hey, how are you guys doing? Uh, and this person on the other side of the fire went, uh, nice to meet you, I'm so-and-so. And I went, it's weird, you look a lot like Linda. And everyone went, oh, no, this is our new friend. I was like, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, no, no. Anyway, I was being pranked. <laughs> To be fair, it Linda had done that prank. a lot to you already at the high yeah, thing but it on was, Friday. I was like, that's what I, that's it. It was, was it on Friday? Yeah, I came up with my hood up saying, I've that been told be that it. Lon Deer yeah. has died. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I've been told Londa's died. I'm brother something. And I was just like, no, there's no way. No, that's not. But I could believe it. You know, it could have happened. <clears throat> I was like, because oh, that was it, because I lost you after the, the Arhalogen hunt. You vanished. Because you walked like two steps away. Do you remember the whole shebang was like, I had to bring all the bows back by myself. And I was like, where, yep. where did yep. you go? You just disappeared for hours. Um, anyway, yeah, I they tried to trick me into thinking you were dead, um, which was very mean. I thought that happened on Saturday, but you're right. It was Friday. Um, go on. You got You got to jump into it. I do, don't well, I? Well, so... we, I was just chilling at camp while this was happening. Not MC. Course. Not MC for once. Well, no, and uh, I, just to kind of clarify, uh, no one in Black Scar other than I and Lindy had noticed Ossian's death. So I was just standing around with people going, you know, yeah. I was all right, you know, we lost that one. And then obviously Ossian, Joe, turns up as a new character and, like, and comes up to me and says, hi, I'm Sorry, I cannot remember the new character's name, but new character name. And I go, nice to meet you. Uh, welcome to Black Scar. Give the whole name. And then people start going, oh, Ossian, where have you been? Come over. And I'm like, you don't recognize this fellow. Come on over here, Ossian. Uh, you, uh, sorry, who, this this isn't Ossian. And they just weren't getting it <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> for so long. And then finally, like, Tabo and um, Blythe came over and started trying to talk to him. It was just like, oh, he just kept going. You don't recognize this person. <laughs> and they were like, What? I was like, Yeah. Uh, so, Tadpole, uh, being Brandon Brown's new, he, he, he had a few other blunders this weekend, not bringing them up. Um, but yeah, it was like, you, you, you failed to count your, your men coming off the battlefield. Ooh. So, yeah, uh, your soldiers, please. Thanks. Your Thornborn. Yeah. <laughs> I just don't know all men. <laughs> <laughs> Not all of us are casualties. 
<laughs> Sorry, it was an opportunity. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, uh, so it was a nice learning point. And so we were all solemnly talking about that mm. and Tapa was swearing about it. Anyway, meanwhile, Linda on the other side of the Empire. Yeah, so um, I came off the 8.30 skirmish in tears. Um, like, oh, like, um, well, like, they were definitely OC tears. It wasn't for a bad thing. It was just, like you said, Sol, it was, over, it was really overwhelming, that skirmish. Yeah. And um, the IC element of it, the OC, it was just like, <laughs> wow, that was fucking awesome. But IC, it was, um, it felt very, you know that um, bit in Lord of the Rings, there, and it's like, what can men do against such reckless hate? Because if that took everything, and that really did take everything from us, like the Empire's oh, doomed. We were. we're so fucked. And then I knew that I just had this awful gut feeling that this was it, you know? And I you know, I knew Ossian was, was dead. And I knew I had a skirmish in another five minutes. This was the nine o'clock to Bastion to help the champion of loyalty retrieve their shield. And all the champions were deploying as um, as a unit for this particular skirmish. And just from the beginning, it was it was organized. But there wasn't like, right, where's our multiple mass weaknesses? Here's some potions. Here's unit A, B or C. It was just line up. We're going in. And um, da, 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 da. yeah, we, da, da. we, we held dived Got into in a minor key. And da, uh, da, da, da. <laughs> <laughs> the mournful cover. <laughs> the um. Yeah, I mean, Ben and um, Greg found me just sobbing my eyes out <laughs> on my axe, <laughs> especially as um, fucking Andy Connell comes by with the highborn procession of lights. I love this. And what a fucking backdrop that was for like what was happening of like you've barely survived and you've got to just buck up and go in again. You just you're gonna have to do this even though you, you you're pretty certain you can't. And then watching the highborn in their hoods, it was like a it is like a funeral procession. And just the poetic timing of that was perfection. Incredible. Incredible bit of, incredible piece of experience. It's not even a LARP experience, just a life experience. And um, suit up, find the other champions, um, Ambition and I going and back to back. And we deploy. And it's the same ship, same battlefield, same skirmish crew as the 830. But we um, we don't have our match weaknesses, and the plan is the same. Um, there's an anvil, and then a flanking element that acts a bit like a hammer. The hammer was deployed almost immediately against the flat line, so we were just charging in flat line against them, and uh, we started to die. Um, ambition, I went <laughs> down. Ambition went down a few meters back. Um, a whole um, unit of cataphracts got killed around Ambition as well. They died holding their ground. The anvil start crumpled and started to break. Prosperity. Um, there was a proxy for the champion of Prosperity who came on that skirmish who saved Lindy's life um, the first time because I'm screaming, help. <laughs> and there was no one around. I'm about 100 meters up the field. No one's nearby. There's shrieks as the Cold Sun Archon is starting to just barbecue Highborn. And then Prosperity does a thunder run, about 80 meters, literally serpentine movement, stuffs a potion in me, and we get up and we get back and we thunder run back and rejoin the line. But at this point, it, it's, it's fucked. Um, it's absolutely fucked. We had a, um, a code word for we've retrieved the shield. Let's, let's get out of here. The skirmish commander called that simply because we were getting killed so quickly. And then the route began. And we lost another eight, 15 oh, players in that maneuver as well, including your dear friend, Lindir Thornhart, um, who, who actually died right in the middle of yeah, the he gate. In pieces. Yeah, I was, um, we we're trying to get people out, and we had like a, you know, a group of six of us in Shield Wall just trying to just stave off hell. And there was like, some of the oh man, it was it was traumatic. There were, some of the players were crawling towards us, on their bellies, begging us, begging us to come and help them. 
and the sirens were just stood were were because they're using pikes just poking us back and then we just saw the scions step over a corpse and then the archon just raised their hand and then the shrieking began again and again and again and there was just tapping on my on the right of my arm and i'm like i'm coming we're coming we're going to go we, we're, we're the last line we're ready tapping again tapping again and i turn to go what you know what do you want and it's a fucking scion um they had destroyed the other elements of our retreat they were dead and they'd been hitting me for the last eight or nine paces and i did not have that many hit points so i just fucking dropped to the floor and i'm halfway through the gate and basically like the ref's like oh you know he the players always like, oh, through come on but realistically he'd been hitting me for the last like five meters so i <laughs> i stand up and i jump back in for the meter yeah and this gives me a fucking amazing view of some people who have like used unstoppable and just hit they, some of them had hidden on this skirmish they'd run into the woods to hide one of them um, in full play of course clank 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 was running back to the gate and they tried to literally spear like tackle and charge their way through the scions they just didn't have enough mass. Like they, they just, you know, physical like contact, like a rugby tackle almost. They just bounced off the fucking crew, and then the crew just chopped them to bits. Like it was, it was absolutely savage. And uh, that was the last little bit of uh, action Lindy got to see as an archon stood over him. And in the view of maybe four, the forty remaining players, um, he screamed and he screamed and he screamed. Burnt alive in front of the people. He was sworn to protect, and that was it. Lights out. Linda is dead, dear listeners. Gone. That's what you get for crying, Rolf. That's what you get for crying. <laughs> That's what you get. Not yeah. for crying. Three revocations good. couldn't yeah. get you, but, but some one cold spicy sun could. cold sun could. Oh, man. I mean, what a skirmish. Yeah. Like, we, it was I didn't a believe massacre. it when you walked up to me. I really didn't. You walked straight up to me in camp late on Saturday, handed me a player pack full of stuff and just gave me that look. And I was like, no, this has got to be another joke. And I, 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 I think obviously some random had just walked up and handed me a bunch of stuff. I think Linda's still telling, uh, playing a prank on me and he's mm. going to show up any day. Because we talked about my uh, will only hours before, we hadn't we? We uh, made a made a will in the queue uh, before your vigilance conversation that never happened. Yeah, yeah, yeah. verbal one. Oh god, yeah. But yeah, god. that's it. And that's then it the was a very weekend. chill evening around Black Scar. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, it was. It was. It was chill. just having a chat. We had a some chill. drinks. It was as so it, wet as well as it, it began raining. to rain mm. and oh, continue yeah. raining. Um, I had another lovely conversation somewhere in the field that I'm not going to talk about. Um, I thought you were going to say I had another London fog. <laughs> and, no, not not that evening. <laughs> next morning. Next, next morning, morning, yeah. But yeah, chill, chill drinks. Yeah, Shot. it was good. It was needed. It just kept raining, though, throughout kept the night. Raining. Kept raining, kept raining, kept raining. My kept fucking raining. tent flooded. Yeah. Um, my hoodie-gurdy yeah. got fucking ruined. Yeah. I saved it because I woke oh. up because I heard the dripping. Oh my god! And I had to use Lindy's kit good. as a fucking towel. <laughs> <laughs> That's a real way to say goodbye, yeah, you know. It was. It was. The, oh, the mansion uh, held up though, so we were fine. Of course. Of um, course. I was a bit, a bit damp. The inside of our tent was damp, but I was okay, luckily. Nice. Um, and oh god, the only problem was so Sunday morning. So again, health problems, right? We know that that is a thing I have right now. But the main issue I've been having is with, like, my joints and stuff. So I was struggling already mm. by Saturday, really, with just walking. <laughs> and Sunday morning came and I could barely I could barely move. I knew it as soon as I tried to sit up from the camp bed. I was just like, oh, this is not this is not going to work. I'm not going to be able to fight. Plus, with the rain, I was like, there's no way I'm going to do archery in the oh. rain. Our fire pit had become a black scar oh. pond. So. The, it, it was black the, scar, the it was fact gone. that there were there was there were so many of us that genuinely thought that that fire pit had to be in the water because it was deep enough. 
Like we were literally prodding with sticks because that pit was full to the brim with water. And we were like, it could be in there. It could yeah. be. It's deep enough. It, yeah, it, yeah. I don't it think wasn't. it was. No, it wasn't. It wasn't. Right. But man, it was it was believable. It was unbel it was Her, shocking. Half of us had acceptably started packing up. Her, most of us assumed yeah. this wasn't happening. We thought it was going to be called off. Everyone did, because there was that message also on the Facebook saying they were considering what they were going to do as their call. Yeah. Um, and then it just suddenly started to clear up a bit. Yeah. It stopped raining a little bit. We'd yeah. gone, I'd gone to get London Fog number seven, mm -hmm. um, and then chill by the gate. Um, Black Star was just waiting by the gate, because uh, arguably we just oh, weren't yeah. sure if it I was turning up or not. I mean, get one for me, because I couldn't. <laughs> um, <laughs> and then... Navarre came in force and the rest turned up and we were looking through the gate. Going... Do you remember though, though, because Black Scar were not in force. Some people had gone, many no. of us were not in great shape. So there were about, we're about a third, I'd say. It was about a third of Black Scar ready and kitted up. We got to the gate. Yeah. I sat down on a tarp on the ground um, yeah. and we stood there. Well, I sat, but we stood there and there was just us. No one else at the gate yet at all. And everything was going fine. We're like, oh, no one's, th maybe the monsters won't show up. And then we could see through the gate, oh, there's a few people over there. And it's we like looked over the monsters. hedge, looked over the hedge, and you could see the amassing swarm of purple on the other side of the hedge at the top of Monster. We're like, oh, this there is were, oh, this There were oh, jokes that... about like Bad. instant commendations, right? Because Black yeah, Soul would we... be the only ones going through the gate. <laughs> there was a visions of being like, we'll just go in, look at the army, and go, nah. <laughs> no, <laughs> bye. <laughs> you can have it. Whatever it is that we're here for, you can have it. That's fine. But no, the Empire showed up in force. Thank God. The Thank the well, virtues. Sorry. Um, yeah. And then yeah, it was there was it was a pretty muddy fight, but it was a fight nonetheless, and it went okay. Yeah. Okay. Only the second time I've not fought. Although a there was some but... there was some tit. It was the right. I don't, know, I don't know who he was. Um had this rod in his hand trying to heal and he, honestly he was doing more bad than good um oh, sounds a bit harsh so tell remind, us more about this reminded me of someone but uh they they hit me so hard i took one less of the the healing they were doing because they they took a point off immediately did you actually <laughs> have yes. oh my god yeah was this was this petamir no no this, oh, this, this was, was cadwell so i thought on, the, oh, on that yeah. lovely rainy evening. What can I do to really annoy people? Um, so I made a briar spring vait and called myself Cadwell, who was the, the, the <laughs> antithesis of what Lindir believed in. And, oh, he riled up some people good and proper. <laughs> and it yeah. was glorious. I, w I think I was pretty mad. I was just mad at you for your audacity. <sighs> but yeah, that was very funny. Um, it was really although, weird. Although, uh, an actual Cadwell was doing a great job at uh, Field Barshley. Oh, yeah. Field Barshley. So, yeah, yeah, but so our uh, Ollie, who is Velasco, was supposed to field marshal but was also in pretty rough physical shape, so could not field marshal. So, Lothan took over, yeah. Um, so the cousins got to hang out by the gate basically we sat down together um feeling sorry for ourselves that we couldn't go through um but yeah Loffen field marshaled and Cadwell seconded right and did a very fun. good job as, a, as it turns out yeah we were fight with the var we did all, did all right mm. um it was just and a very you, you muddy all battle survived, so you all survived you all survived that's the um, most important thing. Yeah, I, I don't know. It was it was a fight. It, it wasn't anything amazing about it. it wasn't anything bad about it. It was, it was just Nothing a fight. particularly notable, other than that tit of a healer. Um. <laughs> it's when um I tried to heal Dave. Well, I did heal Dave at one point, and I hit him, and uh, he turned around, and nearly swung at me because he thought I was um <laughs> thought I was a hostile. <laughs> Um, yeah, although actually, no, there was a fun bit. Um, there, we were hunting for a sky mage, and um, I think I got hit by said sky mage as they repelled me from the line. Um, Tadpole grabbed me around the waist 
thinking that I was going down, like like I'd taken hits and I was falling back. Ah, but he just held me around the waist while I was doing this. I was just waving my arms around in the air, just, just vividly. Um, going, ah! And um, Tapa was just like, what are you doing? It's okay, I've got you, I've got you. And I was like, we're here for another 10 seconds, mate. <laughs> <laughs> As I'm being repelled into his arms consistently. We're here for um, another 10 seconds, get cosy. <laughs> get comfortable yeah. yeah and then it was home time no it wasn't well some of us got off site and well, left firstly um because i haven't really done enough of it this weekend uh, it was mc oh mc oh, God, oh cool so i went back to mc yeah, yeah, like, yeah. went to this one i actually went to this MC last wrap up of it mc the whole time. it was a good time um some things were said some orders were written and and, mm -hmm. and 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 so concluded the event. <laughs> well, no, I'm sorry. One of my probably all-time LARP highlights had to occur first, which I what feel like you might have forgotten, Sol. Probably. Uh, it, it's been a while Kinder's and it hasn't happened final yet. final act. Uh, it's true. It will happen. It's going to be great. You'll really enjoy it. In Kindra's, one of Kindra's final acts as General of Fist of the Mountain, she had asked slash paid these two Oh my god, I had forgotten. To, you had forgotten to pay these two bards to come to MC and perform. It was the last thing. It was right at the end of Sunday. End of MC. We we're at timeout. The rain is still going. And these two bards came in to perform a song. I think they're from the league. And everyone was like, yeah, all right. And they started. And Chris, I shit you not. It was like the Balthazar's oh. Vineyard moment. It was like oh, that. It was time. so good. It was so good. The music was amazing. It was so well done. It was upbeat. Everyone was smiling. People were singing along, clapping. Like It was just joyous. And it was so good and so unexpected. And it was just... Mwah. It was beautiful. It was a real like capital M moment, you know? It was a movie moment. It really yeah, was. It really was. Um, it was actually, it was, you know, I was, was so I was so in character, like a little bit like down and exhausted yeah. OC, but they came in and you couldn't help but smile. It was, yeah. it was excellent. Yeah. I think for one brief moment, all of MC was really united. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> really funny. But it was just, it was delightful. It was just so nice. Yeah. And I was just, yeah, it just felt great. And it felt, fun and they were they were really i don't think anyone was expecting them to be as good as they were no we were like yeah all right some bards you know they'll be good but it's bards and they were just so good oh mint absolutely top notch really indeed what a way to end i wonder if they've got soundcloud i want to listen to that song again it was so good <laughs> and then yeah end of the event i think we did it. it i think we actually did at the two well hours all it takes for us minutes. to do a two a two-hour episode is just we need to have a really rainy event where we don't do very much we did and soul spells a lot of time in mc spent a lot of time in mc uh, a lot of things i also can't talk about I'm um <laughs> soul is if soul was to ever not be a general just how long these would need to be it's an hour per person oh, when we're we've doing stuff we've seen this we've seen this <laughs> we know what happens yeah, come see. But Chris, Chris and I didn't get off site forever. Um, we were on oh, car we saving duty. We used uh, physics and engineering to get two, mm. almost three cars out of the mud. Um, we did our part. And then Pete and I didn't get off site until like, I didn't get off site until quarter to ten. Oh, it might have been before that. Didn't get into the, the Premier Inn until ten, but we popped to chill, McDonald's. Though. Like it, was, it was so chill, nice it evening. Was. Helping people out with cars was like super satisfying. Um, I do look the... forward to the day when I have a job that means that I can no, not worry about Mondays again. That yeah. would be nice. Mm. And hey, that wrapped up the first of three summits. First of three, first of four. First God, it's been that long. Oh, oh no. Uh, That's foreshadowing. Oh, for no. <laughs> Oh, you've done it. You've done it. You've put an end date on this. 
You've heard it here first, folks. This is the last, the three last episodes of the Shattered Song Diaries ever. Uh, it could be. After which, it I don't know, world it, ends, Once Varen dies, there's a very solid argument for us to stop doing this. And <laughs> it is 100% well, my it's certainly intention rebrand. <laughs> to bait Farron into joining Varushka. Um, I alluded to it two, two hours ago. Went to a player event this weekend, Burden of Hope, run by Eerie Lights. Out. Standing, um, you two know what I mean about this, but you know, um, walk the longest path. What? How fun that did was! Did you hear about? Did you hear? Did you hear about? Did you hear about the scarecrow? I'm so fucking angry. Comp- <laughs> so angry. I watched. I was in the, the middle. Three of... seconds it took you to understand. <laughs> I'm that in the joke. in the middle of a spontaneous endorsement of Eerie Lights events. You should absolutely go to their next Empire event, dear listeners, because it fucking rocks. <laughs> But no, my co-hosts are too busy being shitlords as usual <laughs> about my use of the word outstanding <laughs> because the scarecrow, yeah, Matty, it was outstanding so in its field. <laughs> right. You haven't said it in so long. I know. Go, I know. go to Airy Lights event. Yeah. See you, but Chris me too, baby. Put, get in the comments. Tell Pew. Chris to do Pew. an episode about Airy Lights. Call us up. One. Yeah, no, I Call will do a separate up. episode about it. <laughs> But my point being... 777 Send 20 pounds in one pound coins in a, and I cannot stress this enough, a buckskin bag. It, if it is not buckskin, something awful is going to happen during the ritual. So it must no be doe skin, only buckskin. Only buck. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And that's it. On that We're just going to end on that bombshell. Thank you very much for listening. Um, a See one farewell we love from you. Lindy's ghost, Cadwell, who was unfortunately killed in a bear trap, and not to confuse with Cadwell, my adjutant. No, no, the the <laughs> no, Cadwell Brian, we don't Brian like. Cadwell. Me, I was talking about. That's me. been cleared up now, <laughs> Lindy. You're dead. Not that you have no, don't even know that. Who are you anyway? Go back to Varushka. Who are you? Go back to Varushka. Go back to Varushka. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck off to Wasium. <laughs> <laughs> Right. See you all later. Maybe, all right, Greg, you can maybe stop I listening now and get on with your day. Maybe <laughs> yeah. I'll this is a shout out for Greg then. only. <laughs> shout out for Greg. Greg, Greg, Greg.